And, yep, I'm... Okay, there we go. It was like having a seizure or something. And not in a bad way. I'm just saying it was going like this. It was like having a moment. So, happy Monday, everybody. Hopefully, we're having a good, good day today. Not just uh, <laughs> in the words of uh, Kylan here. Hope we're all having a good day. Or a great day. Not just a good day. Hey, everybody. Let me know if you see me. We're good now. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Let me know. Um, yeah, hi Margie, hey Amy, Mountain, hey Cheryl, Christine, are you there? I don't know if you can see me or not, let me see, I had to refresh it, so, are we good? Yes, okay, perfect, thank you, hey Cheryl, yeah, so look, we're, we've moved on with the brand new, um, this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, we're in the car, we're gonna go to... I just decided to live stream. It's been a hot minute since I've done a shop with me by myself. So, you know, when I have... Oh, I'm going to sneeze. i got dog hair everywhere. <laughs> Riley hair gets everywhere. Hopefully, you're having a magical Monday. We're going to go shop till we drop. Starting a, th a normal three-day work week next week. And I also have back to three shifts a week after. Praise the Lord, sweet baby Jesus. So, hey, guys. Hey, Candy Tank. How are you? Oh, it's working good. Working good. Um... We're going to go into Costco. We've got a couple hours till it closes. Um, I've got a few things on my list. Um, like puppy pads. Oh, see, we've all moved into USB-C. Look at us. Finally, Apple got caught up in the world. Yes, I can't wait. Thank you. Hi, Candy Tank. Hi, Lori. Hey, guys. I miss you guys so much. I know how you love to shop with me. So, you know, just... Be trying to stay home a lot like I didn't go out very much the last few weeks just because we were only getting scheduled two shifts a week And if I go out I spend money. That's just not a good thing. We got a cruise in 21 days three weeks Um, I don't have a hair appointment till Friday. So y'all just got to deal with the roots right now is bad, but um, Yeah, I had to pay off the cruise for December. So I finally did that. That was Rob's birthday present so, hey, James, how are ya? We're going to go shop. We're going to try out this here new iPhone. We're just going to do it incognito because sometimes they're weird at Costco. Although I see all these, like, di uh, fitness, diet people always streaming in there. Or maybe they It's like mine. <laughs> so hard to open these things. Um, yeah, so all the new iPhones... Finally caught up with the MacBooks and the iPads and all of that. And now we only have one cord now. Hallelujah. I'm so happy for that. Um, I'm starting my animal diet. I started today. So early last night. So last night I ate like bacon and eggs. Um, so I need a couple of things for that. So it's more like a variation of the carnivore diet. You know, I did keto for years. but So it's, I'm very similar to a low-carb diet. Got my Stanley with water in here. So my new Starbucks order is basically an iced coffee with heavy cream with nothing in it. And the nice thing about car um, with animal that's different than the carnivore is that um, I can use molasses. So I put, I'm actually trying to find, I went to the, the healthy store, like the, it's called Wild Hair Market that they have like the raw milk. I started drinking raw milk. I'm going to have like, like Amish butter, like all the good, good, really super organic stuff using molasses to sweeten my coffee you're only allowed like molasses and like honey supernatural raw unfiltered Ooh, honey the car's telling me it's gonna turn itself off if i don't get my life together um so this one's kind of leaky so i'm trying to find a better container for the molasses but that's what i put in here so i order my coffee unsweetened now um trying to cut out everything like not even stevia splenda none of that you know so just trying to stick to the natural sweeteners so i'm really excited for that oh good i'm so glad all right we're gonna shop but anyway that's kind of what we're looking at in here um i'll bring the charger because it's kind of important let's go get our costco card um little ootd is just my i love this little um they're little rash guards but they're perfect for you know they they keep you from being sunburned and they also have the little finger holes. So it kind of keeps you cool, um, warm-ish in there because it's cold. At Costco, always the AC is like cooking, you know. Um, got a little pink bracelet. These ones are like E. Newton. Some of them are Amazon. 
the little Mickey one that we got. Um, it's my usual mouse on Main Street one. Um, and then I got these. Um, I'm going to see how they well uh, they do well. It's from Amazon. It's a set. But they're supposed to be non-tarnish, like nickel-free, doesn't turn your ears green. Tired of all the cheap earrings turning your ears green, and it really makes me break out. But this one, I got a link on the Amazon store for you guys to have, like, I think there's six, nine, nine pairs? Yeah, like, eight or nine pairs of earrings for, like, 15 bucks, and apparently, these don't tarnish, like... Um, you can swim in them. I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers who travel, and she swims like at least they're cheap, but she, you know, like she goes swimming with them, goes on cruises. So you know, at least you still have earrings, but you're, you know, they're not expensive and they're not tarnishing. So we'll see if they work, if they tarnish or not, because you always need some. There's like these cute square ones, there's smooth ones, but just a bunch of different hoops for pretty cheap. Actually, I think it was like 15 bucks or 17 bucks, but it's called the 17 mile brand. I'll link it. It's in my Amazon store. If you go to my Amazon store, just goes to the, um, like the new items purchased and you can see what I, bought recently but um it's in there so we need a good pair of earrings that are like you can take on cruises vacation disney sweat in there work out in them without turning your ears green or making you break out but still kind of look put together you know what i mean because i i fell naked without earrings so i can't really wear a lot of hoops to work because i they don't like you wear hoops like they make you wear just like the the studs or whatever but at least in my everyday life i can bring these on a cruise and hopefully they do well um yeah all right, let's go find our Costco card and let's get in on there. So that's kind of, oh yeah, and we got, we're getting new Disney 100 name tags, but I just have the, these are the new ones that we have, which are just a regular, but they're sending us the brand new. I don't know if you saw them online. They're so cool. They're, they have the 100 on them. I'm so excited to get them, but they don't come with your language tag if you have another language. So you have to wait another 10 weeks to order that. Like, it's crazy. Like these took me like 12 weeks to get to get a language one so i was like well that's just silly isn't it all right hang on where is there's so many cards in here oh i think it's down here hang on i didn't put it back on. too many cards so little time hopefully everybody had a good work day or school day whatever you guys were doing having a good oh there it is i took out a bunch of cards from all my little cruise cards from all different cruises. There's a Royal Caribbean one, room key. There's a Disney Cruise Line one. I know, I know, too much, too many. Last year's D23 card, got a new one this year. There we go, Costco. That's what we need. <laughs> we need the Costco card. Okay, lovely. These are our raincoat holders for work, but I use it as a purse sometimes, like for work. Sometimes I don't let you have backpacks where you're you're at, so we just do that. All right, let's roll. Let's not forget the keys. So yeah, I got this cute little cover for my keys. Aren't they adorable? Hi Matt, how are you? Hey Maria, we're gonna go shopping. Yeah, girl, we're gonna. Hey Richard, how are you guys? Happy early. Oh wow, almost your birthday. That's amazing. I'm telling you, this is a great thing not to lose your keys. You know, you just like put it on there. It's great. Okie dokie pokey. We will roll on in. Oh my goodness me. All right, Costco. I like to come late because, you know, she don't go out till it's like dark. All right, we got our Starbucks. I already stopped by Starbucks before I came. Turned off. Kind of short. Wait a minute. Maybe I need a longer cord. Hang on. I don't think the cord is very long. Oh no, it is. Hang on. It's tangled in here. Oh lord. I don't know. It's new with these new cords. You know, they're kind of new. Because we are now moving up in the world with the USB-C. I oh, I'm just gonna put you guys in my pocket. How about that? 
I need a longer cord. What are you talking about? Let's use the longer cord. I think this is. Oops, sorry, honey. Yeah, here. I'm like, I don't know if that's long enough. Yeah, we're gonna try. See, we're getting like the proper lengths on these. I don't know if this is long enough, but we're gonna try it. I'm just gonna put this in my pocket. That might help instead of the backpack, but we'll see. I usually put you guys in the backpack. I think I always need about a six foot cord. I think the three foot. Yeah, I think a three foot's okay. We'll see though once it's on my back. Yep, I think it's gonna be too short. Yep, okay, sorry guys. This is a learning process with the new iPhone cords now that we're USB-C. I have a, I bought a set, so I'm gonna probably keep this one in here, but this is not gonna be the streaming one because it's too short. I think this is a three footer. All right, I'm gonna probably put the three footer in the car. How about that? We'll swap put the three footer in the car I bought a bunch of these before the phone came out so oh lord am I doing that wrong again there we go we'll leave the short one in the car and we'll use the long one how about that oh that's not gonna work because this is a USB-C to USB-C never mind short cord it is because this one's a USB that's what I mean. You got to buy all new cords. Well, I had a bunch of USB-C anyway because, you know, everything else is USB-C now. So, you know, Apple finally got with the program. Um, luckily, like, see, I'll show you. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I'm trying to... No, back. The My car has both, like, the USB-C, like, USB... Oop! USB and USB-C. So, I guess trying to get one that like fits correctly is crazy we're learning we're learning all right let's get out of the car jen get out of the car oh lord sweet baby jesus i'm so mad look i cracked my headband that's okay i had a backup actually at home it cracked this is like my get your uh, get together got a little root spray we got dry shampoo and a brush and then of course mahogany teak wood that's what lives in the side of my car i ordered these like seat covers from china and they're gonna take forever to get here so um i need seat covers for my leather because i tend to ruin leather because of the self tan rob's like oh my gosh the self tanner ridiculous but i don't like being pale <laughs> uh she needs to go to the um car wash tonight my car is a little dirty well it's been raining on and off for days so you're like you get your car washed and then it like rains and you're like what in tarnation you know what i mean it's just kind of crazy hey how are you hey Kristen. hey b how are you all right we're gonna go shop all right sorry it was um that's when we're like between the car like when it's still connected to the car sorry forgot about that to tell you that all right let's do this little o otd oh kind of hard to see here let me pull you off the cord i just have my little columbia top and uh, jean shorts but i love these rash guards are great for cruises and you're kind of like shiny like a fish it's very cute actually and of course i'm just wearing my little white hocus and i got new hollister shorts because they're just fun they love like live forever All right, what did I do? Hang on. All right, what did she do with a Costco cart? Oh my goodness. Hang on. I thought I put the Costco cart in here. She forgot it. Don't mind her, she forgot it again. Oh. I tell you. All right. There it is. Sitting on the top. Not going to go anywhere. Unless we have the cord. All right. Oh, it's locked. I do love the new Sportage, too. I know Lindsay's looking at one of these new Kias, too. They're adorable. They look really cute. All right. We got our card. Let's go find some... Where I'm started, today's my first day of animal. I'm doing an animal-based diet, similar to carnivore, except I, am, I can't eat fruit, um, honey, and molasses. So it's very like a caveman diet, basically. Like more um, 
species specific, you know? <laughs> so I need to do it. I've been super bad for the last few months. I need to get my life together and get back and to, you know, into feeling better. I tell you, these carts are bigger than me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a massive Costco. All right, don't spill my coffee. That's priorities of my life. Oh my goodness, there we go. Oh, it's so bumpy. That's at 8 30. <laughs> Just me. Uh, these carts are bigger than I am. Thank you. Alright, we've got ring cameras. We're not buying that. Alright, we gotta stick to what we came here for first before we look at anything crazy. Anybody need a new TV? Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good deal. 58 inch, 379. That's a steal. Oh, you are awesome. Hey, Kristen, how are you? Hey, Gail. Hey, everybody. Do a little shop with me. Dime a tap. No. Oh, air fryer. Got one of those. You know, I think I'm going to end up getting an instant pot for this. I'm going to get pajamas all the way out here. Oh, Christmas tree. I know all the Christmas stuff is out, y'all. Forget Halloween. We're absolutely skipping Halloween. Um... Wine, Godiva, Vita Coco. I just got the uh, Walmart, a uh, Walmart, Costco brand. Hey, Christmas is starting now, you guys. We're, we're totally, apparently, I know, lattes and lux. Well, I've been only working two sh shifts a week, so I've been trying to really be conscious of my spending, and I had to, oh, there it is. I need to buy that for mom. Oh, my gosh. It's here. This is the, you know how we started doing this for mom? She's doing a Disney too, but um, Christmas Village is out. It's one twenty nine ninety nine for a thirteen piece set. But look how cute! It's got all of this. Yeah, we're getting this for Christmas for mom. Shh. I hope they're not watching. Oh God! <laughs> so we gotta get her this as part of her presents. That is adorable. Yeah, we started last year. Remember, you guys were with us when we started the journey of the Disney. This is a cute set for, that's pretty cheap. That's a good deal. Comes with 13 pieces. So we're going to, yeah, it comes with all of this. And look, they also have the Christmas tree one if you want to get that too. How much is a tree? Tree's a hundred bucks, $99. Adorbs. Oh, there's a train. Are you kidding me? Look at the, oh no, the train is necessary. Oh, it's so cute, you guys yeah oh this is adorable that's awesome all right i need it all it's not for <laughs> wow but definitely need the village definitely need the village we're definitely getting the village from mom because we, we got the village the set from last year we're gonna just build on it that train's cute though so that's 100 100 and 129 you can buy it on costco.com actually not sponsored just letting you know apparently we're just skipping right through halloween and we're into christmas because i mean christmas is starting now it's october 1st right <laughs> that's just how they do at the stores they literally like wait because you know like it's october 1st so god forbid we'll be behind here's a mickey lantern 49.99 oh it's like a um snow globe oh it probably lights up on the bottom or something cute though 50 bucks it's not a bad deal it's heavy little snow family lights pre-lit trees outdoor trees that's amazing okay let's get to let's start on the side because you remember it's just like grocery stores you always oh wait there's a wreath we you got to start on the perimeter because we're back to I need to do this for my my personal health. I need to lose this weight. I feel like a little tubby wubby. Um, I've just been naughty, eating too much candy. Oh my gosh, look at the wreaths. Oh, look how cute. Oh, the lamppost. So you shop in the perimeter of the store. You start on the outside because that's where the real food is. <laughs> Try to avoid the middle. Do the outside first. 
you know, all the middle is all like your processed food and stuff. So, all right, look at look at the bread's giving me dirty looks. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just curious to see what's here in the Christmas stuff. Christmas trees, Christmas trees. Alrighty. Oh, the blankets are out. Oh gosh, I love the Christmas blankets. Sorry, I'm just gonna scooch. These carts are massive, y'all. All right. Brazil nuts. I'm not even eating any more nuts. <laughs> no nuts, no seed oils. Um, I want to see, see, they never carry my baby wipes here. I have to go to Target for those. They have the Huggies, but I use the, um, yeah, it's a different brand. Yeah. No, no, no. Which wipes do they have? They don't have the one I have because I have the the ones that are like cloth oh look at all the baby yoda disney wet brushes that's cute good gifts 20 bucks for three brushes you got elsa mini moana you got a bantha you know baby yoda mando this is cute 20 bucks that's a good gift or stocking stuffer or something why not cutie no, I don't buy it. I go straight to Apple. Remember I told you guys this? I have a video actually, Samara. Check out my video from when I picked up my iPhone on Friday. Uh, two weeks ago now or a week ago. How long? The 22nd, whenever it was. Um, yeah, I told you guys the process, how it's easier than AT&T or even Best Buy or um, Costco. Doesn't really... Your best bet to save money, honestly. Oh, this would be good for travel, you guys, for a cruise. Glow Tech compact mirror that's cute i have something similar to it 20 bucks is going straight through apple so that way you pre-order it just like i did i pre-ordered it as soon as the um the talk like when they have the the keynote speech that's when you order it the friday so it's on a tuesday and then you can order it the friday before and then you pick it up the friday after so the pickup was on september 22nd but yeah i buy oh bioderma this is really really good um Wow, I used to pay so much money for a little one. This is really, like, probably the best micellar water if you're looking for a good thing to take your makeup off. Bioderma is, like, my favorite one. Doesn't leave your face sticky. Buy it straight through Apple, I'm telling you. And that way, it's cycling correctly. So when the new iPhone comes out next year, you just do it right through Apple. I think I walked you guys through that video. Just check out that video. I did a whole video on iPhone 15 Pro, Pro Max, the differences between them. And because Peter and I got new phones this year as, as well. So I kind of, he got the 15 and then I got the 15 Pro Max. I always get the Pro Max because of the camera for you guys. So very important. But yeah, I do it straight through Apple just because it's, I've found the easiest. I've done it through Best Buy, through AT&T. Like it's better off to go straight to Apple because in that way, the phone's there. It's ready for you. They set it up. I always go to the Apple store because I buy the, the case as well, as well as the cover, as I explained in the video. <laughs> Just watch the video. It's, I did a whole video on why I think that's better. Oh, the uh, amlactin's really, really good if you have, it's a lactic acid lotion. If you have like little bumpily wumplies and you want to get rid of that, this is a great one. And it's like prescription grade. Good stuff. Oh, they got the Eva NYC here. This is a 10 and 1. That's a good deal. 20 bucks. It's like, um, it has, it does it all. UV protection, like, it'll be like a heat protectant. But this is a really, really good one. I still have a full one. So, I didn't know they have that. Like, the big size. I bought the smaller size at Ulta. Probably paid more for it, too, I'm sure. Uh, Christmas soaps. Bug spray. Because story of our life. Goat milk hand cream. I'm gonna just towelettes, makeup eraser. Oh, you know what I need is what's the contact lens solution? Actually, I have two. I'm okay, but I need to remember on the next trip because I have. I got the con oh, there's a Hello Kitty one too. Dry shampoo, a lot of good stuff. The Monday stuff is great. I have the travel ones of those I take on cruises. Um, to see, it always changes. See what they got. Shea Moisture, sulfate free. I love even the regular brands like Pantene and everything. They're going sulfate free. That's amazing. Uh, 
I'm okay with vitamins. All right, that's what Rob wanted. But what flavor? The cherry. I guess I'll do the pina colada. Then I'll have the grapefruit again. So Zip Fizz is like a healthy energy drink, but has no carbs. And it's also good now that we're starting back on low carb is we need all the magnesium, potassium. Because Rob likes the black cherry. Because the fruit punch and peach mango are not bad too. But we have this. The, the limited edition one is the one he likes. The grapefruit one is my favorite. But we've been drinking this stuff for years. I know I, you guys have been with us a long time. But we've done Zip Fizz for so long. It's really good. Good energy, gluten free. But... You know, she so don't get leg cramps and everything. Um, okay, needed that. That was on my list. So I got the mental list. It's like big items. Baby diapers for the dog. Oh, sorry. The dog stuff is over here. So we'll go get Riley right here. Pampers. It's not Pampers, but her pads. <laughs> you know, Riley Ray is paper trained. Okay. She's doing much better. She's all healed up from her surgery poor thing oh here's the eye solution 10 bucks for three of them it's such a deal you know what let's just get it now so i don't run out oh lord boop, 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 boop. so you go to like target and you buy one bottle it's like ten dollars so you get three for ten bucks certain things definitely worth it to come to costco oh no i love celsius i can still drink celsius that's um this is if i don't have like i can't bring cans of celsius to work i drink one before work but i do the zip fizz in my stanley when i'm at work you know because i'm some days i said like one day a week like this week i'm all inside but um next week one of my shifts is outside again it's still hot you guys and it's still hot so you're basically still, you know, going to get leg cramps and you're just sweating so hot, hard, you know, it's just like, ugh. you need to replace your electrolytes. But no, I still have a ton of Celsius on the fridge. Don't you worry. All right. The, the puppy stuff, I think, is down there. Hang on. Let me cut across. It's in the back. All right. Puppy stuff. Uh, the pet stuff is back there. Yeah, zip this is so good. I'm so glad. So, Cal, you like it. Sorry. So little. The cart is so... I just tried to go incognito. Oh, they got a lot of good ramen up in here. I tried, I'll try to walk steady. I think we draw more attention when we have the gimbal. So, I'm trying to be incognito. You know? And we're trying the new phone. So, I'm usually on my streaming phone, which we bought the new... What is it again? I can't remember. The S23 or something like that. Ultra but I just, let's just use the iPhone. I haven't streamed with her yet, so. <laughs> Unless it's a shop with me. All right, puppy stuff. Puppy stuff, puppy stuff. Oh, here we go. It's flea and tech. Now she has a different one. It does like, it's a prescription one, but it's like for fleas, ticks, and heartworms. Even though she lives inside. Oh, I need to go down the spice aisle. Where are all the diapers? They should be down here. Hmm. Saffron. Vanilla. Cinnamon. Hmm. Taco seasoning, basil, oregano. I even have to read spices, which is terrible. Like, there's so many spices that aren't just spices, that they actually have additives to them. Like, we love all this Kinder stuff, but it has, like, soy. It has soy products in it. I'm like, no. And Rob loves all the Kinder stuff. Like, we have the buttery garlic, um, caramelized onion, the devil. Canola oil and vegetable oil that is seed oil very very bad for you <laughs> we're avoiding the oil out sticking to butter butter's your friend 
butt rub that's funny you just gotta i love montreal i have a i have a big one back these are my my favorite steak seasoning actually it's not bad ah it has sunflower oil in it why is there oil in seasoning men it should just be the seasoning it's gonna kill me all the seed oil will be the death of me like i don't know why they add oil we have all of these these are so delicious the onion butter the onion butter does kinder but i'm like <laughs> i'm looking for soy it says organic why is there sunflower oil and maltodextrin killing me here yeah i guess if you use it sparingly but i'm trying to get rid of all seed oils in my life the linoleic acid is not good for the human body so i'm just trying this whole new thing well, it's not new it's very similar to keto which we've done for decades so we're just moving along all right i need to find ghee oh there's manuka honey that's gonna be I just bought, okay, raw and unpasteurized. Perfect. I bought, because um, I can have three, I'm supposed to have three spoonfuls of honey every day. So, yeah, it's not too busy right now. I think people just got out of work. Oh, they do have the maple syrup. Organic, grade A. It's just, yeah, okay. This one's from Washington. Oh, no, it's from Canada. Perfect. All right, because I bought the Vermont one. That was expensive. That little one was like $20. But this isn't bad. It's actually... Yeah, pure organic. That's it. From That's the only ingredient. Word. Okay. Well, then. This is the only thing I can sweeten maple syrup it is. I have a big thing of honey. Let's see if they have like... Like, it has to be pure. Like, organic. I don't know what this is product of the usa but you gotta make sure they don't have any weird stuff in it uh, from vermont okay the same one i got was vermont but does it say i need the ingredients okay what's the difference oh they're the same price let's do the golden maple because that's they're the same price. This is just regular. I guess that's golden, but they're the same price. So it's fine. Oh, we got crown. I don't need booze in my honey. It just needs to be pure. Oh, that has alcohol. Never mind. It's boozy, honey, y'all. It's boozy maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have Florida raw honey. Maybe we should have gone here first, Jen. All right, let's make sure it's got raw. And I don't know, is it raw and filtered? Yes, that's all I need. Making sure it is from... Is it from Florida, local Florida? When I went, I went to the market, like I spent 90 bucks for like five things over there. But, like, that was, like, a legit, like, the honey was, like, five miles from my house. It's from, like, Oviedo. Okay, this one, just making sure it doesn't have, it just says honey. Okay, I mean, that might not be a bad. And it's Florida honey. You always want honey from where you live because it helps with your immunity and all of that good stuff. Look at you, Costco, with the organic. Killing me right now. I love it. Wildflower. That's from Argentina. No, ma'am. I need just... Because you want it local to where you live. All right, these are the teddy bear honey. Oh, Lord. Hang on. Everybody's bought up all the honey. All right. Uh, I need to put one in my car. That's why. Organic raw. Is that better? Let me know if that's better, you guys. I connected to the Wi-Fi. Here is the puppy vibes. 
Where is the big box of white? Uh, I'm so confused right now. Where are the puppy pads? Did they move the puppy pads? Because I did not see the puppy pads. It's usually back here. Mm. Very confusing. Okay. Um, ooh, what flavor Celsius they got in here? They got the big packages over here, too. Peach and the Arctic. Yeah, that's a pretty good pack, too. Yeah, I still have a bunch at home, but that's a good deal of the Celsius as well. Well, that's the regular flavor. I like these better, actually. Better? Okay, perfect. Yeah, sorry, I had to connect to the... I forgot Costco had Wi-Fi now. Yeah, I'm actually okay on the Celsius. Actually, I have it auto-delivered from <laughs> um, Amazon. So that's coming up very shortly. They get zero sugar Snapple, but I'm trying to actually cut back even on the, the, like the sucralose and all of that shenaniganery. So, all right. Okay, we're just sticking to the natural fruit sugars, like natural sugar. That's what we're doing, honey. <laughs> yeah, Christine, I was saying you have also like, I would love some bougie honey. The fresher, the better. Straight from the bees, but you know, the better. Um, Oh, there it is, my coconut water. I was, oh my, I can't find the puppy. Oh, there are the puppy pads. I see them, I see them. I go through so much coconut water though. Um, this is the organic one. But, yeah, I gotta get like a box every week, if not more. Oh no, okay. Well, luckily I'm cutting out all the, <laughs> the fake stuff. Coconut water it is. I know a lot of people don't like the coconut water, but I get the organic, no sugar added, not from It's good stuff. You drug tested the drink. That's crazy. Hmm. Why don't you write the company and let them know about your findings? Drop off all your scientific data and tests, see what they say. I mean, you could have a lawsuit on your hands right there. <laughs> if that's the truth, you know, you'd make some super mad money doing that. You mean you tested the drink or you tested your urine? Hmm. That's suspicious. All right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> mm. Topo Chico. That's good for... People always ask me that at the bar. They're like, hey. Oh. Not supporting Jake Paul. I know we're all about the prime. That's Jake Paul's brand, by the way. All right. I like the Vita Coco one also. But the Costco brand actually is really good. It doesn't, it's organic and it doesn't have additives. I buy this stuff at the store if I'm desperate. Um, oh, the Zoe was pretty good too. Tried. I, it's not my number one thing. I just stick to the regular coffee. So just cream and like plain black coffee with the molasses. Who am I right now? I know. I had to cut off all of my syrups. Syrups. Oh, look how cute. Oh my gosh. Nightmare before Christmas. It'd be like five minutes, five minutes, and five minutes for Riley. She's a plush destroyer. Okay. Oh, I, I saw it. Wait, wait, wait. I saw the puppy pads. We got about six cases of water. We're always hurricane ready at my house. Um, I can have juice as long as it's like fresh. You know, like fresh squeeze, nothing else in it. I can have watermelon juice. I can have pineapple. Um, obviously coconut water but like it just has to be straight 
We got plenty of cheese. Oh, and I bought that bougie cheese too. Oh my gosh, it was twenty dollars for two little the Amish cheese. That I, I I can see why people buy the raw, the shoat we call it sheep and goat milk cheese. Oh my gosh, that is the creamiest cheese you ever had in your life. It is so creamy. Rob was almost gonna eat the entire container. I was like, baby, you could do that. <laughs> it is so good but it is so good it is so creamy so fresh like baby here's the baby stuff for the baby so good like i'm telling you submit your results you could make a ton of money with that lawsuit if that is the truth like you could send that to celsius or the fda there you go submit your findings i mean we are a scientifically based society nowadays so you know, if that is the truth, then you definitely have a lawsuit on your hands, my friend. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. There's three things. No, that was the three. All right, we're going to see if they have any of the cheese, raw cheese, raw milk cheese. Don't look at anything at this aisle. We got a plethora of bacon. Yeah, also the Franks, I heard. Oh, what's that other brand? I got to look for it at Publix. Because apparently, Hebrew National is kosher, but um, Cheryl apparently has soy products in it. So I was shocked. I didn't think it would have soy in it, but it does. Like, why? Hang on, I can't read it, but I think I saw the soy... Yeah, it has soy protein. I can't eat it. Lord, can't it just be beef? Plain beef. Just beef, ma'am. That's all. Sorry, I was Rob. Sorry, Rob is calling me. Avocados. All right. There we go. That should be better. Let me know if you see me. I got some avocados. Peaches, but it has to be organic only. Looked at anything in the packaged aisle because I can't eat it. <laughs> mm. Apples. I thought they had more organic fruit. Does not say organic in it. I know they do usually. Pomegranates. All right, Rob was calling me all. He was just getting out of work. Sorry. He was saying hello. Oh, there you go. Organic apples. Apples aren't my favorite fruit. I'm a watermelon girl. Watermelon, pineapple, any melon, cantaloupe, sorry. Um, we got some gala apples. I guess I could bring an apple to work. Um, we got some bananas. Let's see. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, that's pasta, tiramisu, pumpkins, pears. Oh, I love apple pears. Apple pears are the bomb. Yeah, they're so expensive, but they're so good. <laughs> apple pears. Yum. I love me some apple pears. They got the ambrosia. They got organic gala. I don't know what I, Sorry. Or not. I know. Um, Heartwood pears. Oh, you know what? Let's look into the fresh produce there's bananas there's plantains right there what are those okay hang on let's look at the fruit oh oh it does look better than yours yeah altamont you guys altamont bananas yeah i can eat bananas again i know i'm shocked myself are these like organic yes they are organic bananas i like them green i'm just happy i can eat bananas again it's been years all right because those are easy to bring to work you know it's hard to bring food kiwi fruit and meat honey basically all it is fruit and meat i said that's kind of how i eat the 
first couple of cruises that I went on, like the one in January when I went with um, Reese and Peter, I did not get any weight because all I ate was meat and fruit. I ate a lot of fruit because I love watermelons. <laughs> um, ooh, don't even look at the biscuits. They're giving me dirty looks. Sorry, you're good, girl. You're good. These carts are just so big, you know? Okay. We got garlic, sweet onions. Ooh, good packages. You got to come to this one. Dates. We can have dates. Melons, watermelon, seedless. Watermelon. I see no watermelon. Ooh, they got papaya. Ooh, hang on. Let me go get me a papaya. I am a papaya girl. Living in a papaya world. Is it organic? Let's see with this papaya. Caribbean oats are red papaya. Mm, not, not ripe yet, but you know what? I got to eat the pineapple. I have a whole pineapple at home. I got to eat. That's the thing with fruit is that, you know, it doesn't last. You got about a week and then you got to eat it. But basically animal animal style is just fruit and meat i said yeah i could do that because there's a lot of and cutting up all the the fake sugar but i can have the molasses and the honey so i'm like yeah i'm trying to find snacks for work so a lot of the package stuff you gotta make sure i think we have to go to Publix for that that a and m because i heard hebrew national is dirty it's not clean it has all the soy protein in it so bad for you um so, okay, can't have that. But I knew, I watched so many videos that there was a lot of different things and snacks that you could see. You just gotta read the ingredients, you know? Lunch meat isn't the cleanest unless you make sure it's like a straight up clean lunch meat. Meat is what Costco does the best. You know, they reign supreme as far as like, oh, and then cheeses. They got a lot of bougie cheese. I think it's in the next aisle. Like they have, raw cheeses i mean now that i have been introduced to the the joy of fresh the the raw the bacon and cheddar and then the swiss cheese that we got from the stormy it was expensive but man i can see why it's expensive it was delicious all right any good sales on the meats i got some boneless skinless i got some boneless thighs back ribs i can do stews yeah, that's the thing. We got a lot of good meat. Oh, they got oxtail. I need to buy oxtail. Um, very rich, but very good for you. Um, Filipinos make this in a dish called kare kare. A lot of Spanish, uh, Jamaican, a lot of island nations use oxtail. Um, it's very rich, but it's full of cart cartilage and good things. I make it like in a stew. Mm. Oxtail is the jam. Yeah. It's already meat's the most expensive part of your diet, but you know, it's very easy to eat out. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm salivating looking at all the steak. Mm. Let's look at the cheese, please, before we go back. Actually, let me pick this up last because it's meat and I didn't bring my cooler. I gotta remember to bring the cooler when I come because I got like multiple stops, you know what I mean? I'm tempted maybe not to buy meat today because I forgot I should have brought the cooler. Because I have to go to Target and then I have to go to Walmart too. Uh, cheddar cheese cubes, Spanish. We got, oh, Manchego is the bomb. Smoke. Oh, we love the Manchego. That's good Spanish cheese. Ah, the barbecue chicken. Yeah, trip to Publix. We definitely need to do Publix. Win Dixie. Oh, I've got a Win Dixie by my house. Um, Oh, the, the road, the, I haven't had the barbecue chicken. I've had the rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken, delicious. It's like a giant chicken for five bucks. It's like a three pound chicken. It's delicious. It's kind of an easy staple to keep on your house too if you're doing any kind of low carb because you can eat it with anything. You can just, you know, rotisserie chicken is easy to add in or just eat it by itself. I'm trying to find the raw. They said they had raw. Brie. Oh, I love brie. I love the borson. Mm. You could wrap like meatloaf and you put borson in the middle. Lord, it's so good. Oh, goat cheese. Wait, we got goat cheese. Oh, can't, yeah, Rob can't eat that. It's spicy. <laughs> There's so much feta. 
You can have all the cheese. Cheese is my friend. I love goat cheese. I love cheese of any kind. Ooh, I love burrata. Try it with a little goat. Actually, the, the cheese that we get from Wild Hair is sheep and goat. So we call it shout. It's shout cheese. What's up, shouty? <laughs> it's shout cheese now. Bruschetta, tomato, garlic, and spices. Let's see if it's clean. Yeah. Oh, it's pasteurized. We need unpasteurized milk. But, I mean, you can have this too. It's fine. It's fairly clean. It doesn't have... It's just the milk is cooked. It's it's pasteurized. So you can try to find... I thought I saw the one video I watched with a guy. He, there was a ton of, like, raw... They had some raw milk cheese in here. I have a ton of cheese yet to eat, but I'm just trying to see what they have. And that's why I was buy chicken also here at Costco. They're individually packaged already. Like, they're in these little... You know, the bone, the skinless chicken thighs, they're in these three. So you don't have to like break them up. They're already broken up for you. That's why compared to like Sam's Club, I have both. I always buy the chicken from here because it's already packaged up. And you just get that, you know, like you don't have to break it up and seal it up yourself and, and Ziploc it or vacuum pack it yourself. Munster, the Dubliner is good. It's a whole nother cheese aisle. I feel like I'm missing cheese. But yeah, we'll bring them up. We still have a ton of that bougie cheese we gotta finish. Um, ground beef. Yeah, meat is always supreme. Like, I think if you had to choose between Sam's Club and Costco, Costco will reign supreme as far as meat. They got weird cuts as well. Like, they have those beef ribs. They'll be good for a stew. Um... Ooh, short ribs. Oh, mama loves short ribs. I love the short ribs at um, homecoming. Oh. A real girl, I gotta try that. Hey, Mike. What's up? I'm just trying to see what kind of they got. They got short ribs, you guys. We can put that in the in the crock pot. I need to buy an instant pot. They have the. They have the oxtails. They didn't used to have oxtails. I'm like, that's new. That's great. So many people eating carnivore lately or animal or, you know, low-carb diets. But the meat always looks so good at Costco. And then they have prime. Like, if you want, like, the, you know, really, really good cuts, you can have pork as well. Um, apparently, salmon's not a good thing because unless you get wild salmon, Atlantic salmon is all farm-raised. Apparently, I saw that thing on TikTok with the worm, and now I can't unsee it, so I can't eat that salmon no more. I'm traumatized. Um, it's always also more cost effective if you just buy the whole like hunk and then cut it up yourself. It's, you don't want it cut up like here's the beef loin, but they have a whole loin you can buy. Um, ooh, ooh, look at all the ribeyes. Mm -mm. Here's some filet mignon, y'all. Yum, yum. Hey, Annette. Oh, we got Wagyu. Yeah, and then try to just get the ground beef and not, yep, see right here. They got the same thing with Costco. It makes it convenient, y'all. It's already, like, broken up into threes, and you want the fattiest cuts. Organic ground beef is good. 85, they're all 85.15. You know, and you got the big honk right there. I mean, when in doubt, a burger and cheese will work, you know. But they have ground beef. Probably going to get a some of these we're gonna do the meat last remember if i even need to buy meat i'm trying to finish that i have stew meat defrosting and as well as the chicken thighs i gotta cook those before i buy more meat i have so much meat in my freezer that i gotta go through it i love you bagels but we have to break up again me and the bagels have broken up again but but yes yes to answer your question absolutely their rotisserie chicken can't go wrong you can't figure out what to eat for five bucks, you guys. That's three pounds of chicken. You can't go wrong. Oh, well, they got wings as well. They got the ribs. So, I mean, they look juicy. Hey, Susanna. I'm glad the Wi-Fi is working in here. Costco Wi-Fi for the win. Working well, working well. But, yeah, that you, can, you can't figure out what to get for dinner. Get a rotisserie chicken. I've eaten one on the way home. When I was a kid, I used to eat it on the way home. I know, like a savage. I'm still looking for ghee, G-H-E-E. -E. We need to find some ghee as well, um, which is basically clarified butter. Um, I was just checking on the cuts of meat as well. You can have meat, pork, 
Um, the problem I think what I was having with the keto was that I was replacing all the keto bread with like all the fake stuff, but I was still eating so much processed food. So I'm gonna try this, go down to the basics, straight animal, you know, species, species specific diet. Yeah, I can't do the, they put coloring in the salmon. Did you know that? I learn something new every day. Um, if you want salmon, it should be the wild caught like this. Oh, that's halibut. But the salmon, they put coloring in that. Ooh, ahi tuna though. Give me sushi tuna, just a hunk of tuna. I'll eat it just the way it is. Um, okay, we need to find the ghee. I don't want to have the meat sitting in here. If I decide to get meat tonight, I don't know. I wish it's a mainly scouting trip. We needed this stuff, which is the basic necessities. Yeah. I, I'm not even gonna say anything about the TikTok salmon thing, but go look up on TikTok and just type in Costco salmon. I can't unsee it now. Somebody opened the back door. Naughty. <laughs> so I am traumatized and now I can't eat Costco salmon. I used to love Costco salmon, but it's all farm raised. Oh, the Iggy Bites. I do need another. They have um, the Starbucks Egg Bites, you guys. Life is good. Yeah, I, I have these because I, I use them for work. The, it's uncured bacon, gluten free, uh, free roaming inside. But they have, if you look, I just ate these. I ate, actually, I just went to Starbucks and ate. So they have this now. So that works. Yeah, the batteries are great. Oh, yeah, it adds up. But eating healthy is far more expensive than eating unhealthily. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, at this point in my life, I need to invest in myself because I'm, I've just been feeling ucky. I've been eating a lot of sugar and candy. I'm addicted to those nerds, you guys. The gummy nerds. Ugh. Eating bad. And, and I'm like, I don't eat one or two. I eat like bags full. Like, I'll eat the whole bag. Like, it's ridiculous. That's just how I am. Uh, let's find the ghee. Where is the ghee? I think it might be with the olive oil. Let's check the olive oil, like the oil aisle, but I wasn't looking for ghee at the time. Um, Peter gave me all his Folger cups. I got plenty of K cups. M Manuka honey is, is, I know it's African honey, but it's very good for you. Actually, there's a lot of like cosmetic properties to that. Anything good. All right. Um, no oil. Butter, butter, butter is my friend. I'm trying to see if they have the ghee. I know they have the ghee somewhere. I've seen it. Mm, there's the ghee. Wow, that's a lot of ghee. <laughs> Holy moly. That's a whole a heck of ghee. Ghee is basically clarified butter. Uh, uh, I've got a ton of butter. i got to get through. Making sure it's nothing but like butter in here. High smoke point. Yeah, if you want to fry something that you would need oil for normally... Because butter doesn't have a high smoke point. Ghee it is. I mean, I got ghee for days. Let's finish up the butter before I buy more ghee. Because I also have beef tallow, which I bought from the fancy market. So I've been I, last night I fried up my eggs with beef tallow and butter. I got a lot of butter. So, because this, you know, stuff like that, like, I'm sure it'll keep. But I want to make sure I go through my supply. I got a lot of supply, but... Good to know that they have a hunk of <laughs> a big container of ghee. All right, I think we're good here. Um, yeah, that's the mayo I was using, the chosen one. Because I didn't know, like, even, even mayo that you think is pure mayonnaise has, like, soybean oil, canola oil in it. Even all, a lot of olive oil has additives. It's not pure olive. We've been hornswoggled, people, paying all that money, and then they add canola and vegetable oil to it. And you're not paying, paying all that money for olive oil, and it's fake. Gotta read everything. Um, if you need to use oil, they said avocado has the lowest, and pure olive has the lowest of the linoleic acid or whatever. It's the linoleic acid, which is apparently seed oils and everything so that's what i'm trying to avoid yeah easier said than done well that's why i do low carb like i, I this is what works for me 
I've got to lose weight. My doctor told me to lose weight. Well, I'm getting to that. But it's for me, again, like for myself, based on me. Ooh. They have the three. Oh, but they don't have the one with the... Um, that is not a bad deal. Because the one I was looking at was 900 But this is the Mini 3 without the screen. You have to put a phone in it. But that's not a bad price for a drone. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, shoes. Let's see. Very giant drone. Oh, the Insta3 is 439 I see a lot of people use that camera too, like on cruises. I still have my Hero 8 works just fine. Oh, MetaQuest 2 is so the new one's coming out in 10 days. So I'm actually pre ordered it at Best Buy. I haven't been able to work out in the last week or two because my MetaQuest 2, this is what me and Peter use for when we go in the metaverse and when we're working out with Supernatural, it's this. But the new one's coming out. And so these cameras, my, my controllers are all jacked up. Like I cannot use it because it's saying it lost touch with the controller. So I have been so frustrated. And But I did do all the updates today. So hopefully it is working. But I am getting a new one from Best Buy. And I'm going to get the warranty just in case. If it goes bad, I can always just swap it in for another one. Always buy like the two-year extended warranty on your electronics, especially gaming systems. Yeah, that one was Rob's. It was sitting around for three years. So that's probably why it's just old, even with all the updates. I'm having a problem with my, my MetaQuest 2. But the new one comes out in 10 days. So I need it because I love Supernatural. You know, I'm invested. I subscribe to it. I use it. I know Jeffrey Teller, one of our subscribers, just started using it as well. That's why I haven't been working out all last week because my controllers are messed up. But we just did the big update. I'm going to try it tonight and see if it'll work. Um, it's just got to last a couple more days, a couple more weeks. Actually, a few more days until it comes out because <laughs> I need to get the new one just because it's hard for me. It interrupts me in the middle of my workout. It'll just say, oh, it disconnected. Oh, these are my favorite... Are these? Nope, these aren't them. These are different. Mm, I don't have the other blankets. But that's why it's been really frustrating. But that between that, between working out on Supernatural, on the Oculus, and the diet, it'll be perfect. All about the diet and exercise. I'm the same way. Anytime doctor wants to be like, oh, you gotta do this for, add this medication. Nope, I'm gonna try to do a diet and exercise first because I don't take any more pills, you know. Command strips. Can never have too many of those. Oh, that's a really cute vanity. Adorbs. 600. Let's go to Ikea. But it comes with the mirror. It's not a bad deal, actually. Um, where? Oh, I'm just looking for the blankets. Oh, I love shrimp. Shrimp is delicious. Oh, you're pretty diet. It's time. You got to cut out the carbs, babe. Trust me. I was uh, insulin. I'm insulin resistant as well. It's my diet. My diet is terrible. So <laughs> the Sherpa blankets. Yeah, you're pre-diabetic. You're the same as me. You're insulin resistant. So that's why I'm cutting back all the, the regular sugar, the stevia, the Splenda, all of that fake sugar. Only thing you can actually use is the honey and the maple syrup, but not to excess. So Going back to naturals, cutting back even the fake sugar. Actually, the Splenda, and you know I'm a Splenda-holic. I love Splenda. Apparently, it messes up with your gut. And actually, this um, how your brain senses sugar, it actually makes you crave sugar even more. Yeah, it's no calories, it's got no sugar. But because it's like fake, it, it not all sugars are created equal. So, I'm just learning more and more, you know. We learn more and more as time goes because there's more studies longer studies things like that so we're gonna try it this way because i wish i could drink coffee without sugar or sweetness so i just put molasses in this a little bit of molasses just heavy cream and plain it's just plain black coffee it's delicious oh a little bit of the pumpkin cream cold foam on top just a tiny bit just for the foam but delicious 
No more seven pumps of sugar-free vanilla, seven Splenda for Jen. We're going to have to retire that order. <laughs> so, yeah, we are retiring the seven pumps of sugar-free vanilla. We did it for a while, so we're good now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just starting. Today's my first day of that journey. That's why I need to come here. But out of all the, the ways of eating and lifestyle changes I've done, anything low-carb is usually what works for me. And if you are pre-diabetic, that's what they're going to end up making you do as well. Because butter is not your enemy. <laughs> it's the carbohydrates. It's the bread. Even with the keto bread and things like that, you know, it's, it's hard, trust me. But it's going to be like a rough two weeks. Like usually your two weeks is when you're, you know, you got detox off the sugar and the carbs. And you'll be fine. You make it after two weeks. You won't crave it anymore. Do I not have any... I don't see any Nespresso's. I'm going to put that on my Christmas list. I need an espresso. I have the new coffee maker I got last year. That Ninja is amazing, by the way. I love that thing. It does K-cups, big containers. Like, it does it all, but it doesn't do espresso. So I need an espresso maker. Just because I love espresso. I love the Blonde Rose espresso. It's my favorite thing. Um... And I don't see a lot of coffee makers. Yeah. Shocking. Or did I miss the coffee maker? I didn't even see it. Yeah, there's the Shark, which is like, if you don't want to spend 600 on the Dyson, get the Shark. I heard it's really good. 300 here. The Dyson wrap to curl your hair, you know. But I just used that curl brush for 20 bucks. I got a TJ Maxx and my regular one inch barrel hot tools curling iron, but I do heatless curls most of the time now. So just a lot of money for, does this make the good ice? I think this is the one that makes like the good ice, like the Sonic ice, you know, like the Four Rivers ice. <laughs> okay, where are we? No, that's office. Did I really miss the coffee makers? Or is there no coffee makers? I think it was just a ninja. I did not see an espresso. Yeah, that's right here. Like, literally, they don't have any. Hmm, they just have that one. Well, they'll have deals for Black Friday. Good, good. Yep, yep. I have a bestie who has epilepsy. Yeah, you can drive then. You just have to get your... That's excellent. Actually, another benefit of going low carb if you had epilepsy is because, you know, the myelin sheets in your brain? The, your nerves, your nerves, right? The nerves have myelin sheets, which is like a coating. That coating is made from fat. So your brain, actually, it's 65% fat. It needs fat to function so <laughs> you know especially if anything neurological with your brain you need healthy fats for your brain your brain needs that to function yeah they don't have no nespresso's all right let's get out of here before spend any more money a lot of toys we already bought the wrapping paper um we bought two of them last time we were here getting ready for the holidays um yeah, these are the big packages. They're great. They last forever, years. Um, they got little gift card bags. Oh, these. Sorry, the, the Wi-Fi disconnected, you guys. But this one is actually very clean. It's grass-fed and finished beef, which is what you want. Sorry, the Wi-Fi disconnected. Um, but yeah, grass-fed and finished beef. And it has no additives. Whole 30 approved, paleo, gluten-free. It's just, yeah, it's clean just read the ingredients too that's always very tiny on the bottom but yeah that's another good snack little beef sticks that is not bad i'm gonna try it hopefully it's good 
because I gotta find snacks for work, Lord help me. Um. Not bad, actually. Hey there, hey Justin, hey D-Lo, how are ya? Sorry, there you go, now we're good. <laughs> The Wi-Fi keeps disconnecting, y'all. Sorry about that. Um, Costco Wi-Fi. Oh, there's so many of these. Grass-fed. Zero sugar. These are the minis. I don't know. Which one do you think is better? A big piece of beef stick. Oh, the minis might be better. All right, perfect. I don't know. They're both clean. Very clean ingredients. There's more in this one. I think the mini might be good. Because they're not so big. Yeah, they're like mini sticks. Or should I get the big ones? I don't know. It's so clean though. I'm gonna try the mini ones because I'm really weird about my beef sticks. If I don't like, oh, mild. Now Rob has gotten these before. I don't know. I gotta think about it. All right, let's go pay for our things. I don't know if you've tried either one of this, which one is better. I know Rob's had these before and these are just big, that's why. <laughs> Oh, wait, there's shorty sausages. There's a lot. Oops, sorry. I'm going to read the ingredients, though. But it's not grass-fed, is it? Oh, I love those. They're not anything I can really eat, but dang, it's good. The, the pork jerky, mm, it's Hawaiian jerky. It's good. It has sugar. Nope, can't have it. All right. Oh. If I should get the big ones or the little ones. No idea. 28. I think Rob has had these. I'm going to try the chomps, I think, just because they're different and they have super clean ingredients. Super clean. All right, let's go pay for our stuff, y'all. Because it is already an arm and a leg. Costco's always expensive. Right? Oh, Jen's breaking all her things again. Hey, Zoe. Hey, sweetie, good to see you at Costco. Grabbing some basics because we need it. I was do self checkout. That way the line ain't that long. It's food for the week. All right. Please wait. Card not accepted. Oh, shoot. Please oh, remove the unscanned item. 
Remember to always scan your item before placing it and please continue scanning. Please begin scanning. She's so crazy. One ninety nine. Place your item in the tray area. Fourteen seventy nine. Can Sixty-nine, ten, ninety-nine, twelve, ninety-nine, twelve, ninety-nine, sixteen, ninety-nine. Twenty-nine, ninety-nine. Credit five dollars. All right, we're gonna tap to pay. Will this Apple Pay it up? Apple Pay is my friend. Yeah, it's in, it's in the front. If you are finished, oh. Scott. Sorry, I'm late to the party today. Don't forget, so, not Thank bad. Thank you for shopping at Costco. One forty fifty two. Please remove all scanned items. Shocking. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Knocking out my backpack here. All right, sorry. Let me get out of y'all's way here. Thank you so much for your help. All right, appreciate you. <laughs> Made my life quick. All right, let's go get a cord or a, a basket. Oh my Lord, sweet baby Jesus. Okay. I gotta put my vegetables and all the little baby things in here. Make it look cute and pretty. It's, it's a, it's a, and the bananas, there we go, oops, sorry, let me get out of your way, all right, good enough, not bad, 140 bucks, what, we got out of Costco, less than $200, I am shocked, Shocked and appalled. <laughs> no, just get, I needed the necessities. I needed the maple sugar, the, the, the honey. We got plenty of water. We get sell some meat. I got to finish at home. Get some bananas. Some, um, bring a banana to work. I can bring one of those beef sticks. I eat one of these before work. So this is my breakfast. I work and then I'm going to bring bananas and maybe fruit and one of these sticks and some cheese maybe to eat after work. Um, the key of being in any type of diet or new lifestyle change is you got to bring all the food with you. You got to remove all the temptations from the house and then obviously bring it with you. So you should, me, my problem is I work at night. I'm always wanting to eat like Wawa, um, you know, McDonald's, like late night, nothing is open after Taco Bell, you know. That smells so good. Smelling all the coffee hey, is Zach, amazing. <laughs> do me a favor. Give this to him for a minute, please. I'm solo. Thank have you, my day. friend. You have a great night. Alrighty. Yeah, right here. The the mar the cafeteria thingy is right here. So you could do they still have like the hot dogs and all the things. It's all back there. So they still have it. Um I guess you check in here, but there's, um, yeah, they have it around the corner. Ours is outside, so the nice thing about these ones is, I guess even people that don't have memberships can eat there for the still dollar fifty hot dog. You just don't eat the bread, you know. But um, yeah, I know some of the newer Costco's like to have them inside, so like you have to be a member to go eat there. But I mean, it's still the same prices. Like from when you were kids, sell a dollar fifty for a hot dog and a soda, and like the chicken bake, the pizza. That's still all there. Oh my gosh! Sorry, so loud. Watch out! 
big curb, big, big curb. Oh. Oh. I need to pave the streets, y'all. Yeah, sorry, it's so bad. These streets are wild. I'll put you right there. the car up all right let me put the buggy back where's the buggy return oh there's the buggy guy right. no, no, no. go ahead go ahead you go ahead i trying to give the man my buggy i'm the buggy returner can i give you my buggy thank you sweetie appreciate you all right <laughs> they're taking all the buggies back so let's take the buggy to the buggy man not the boogeyman but the buggy man all right oh goodness me okie dokie now we got to go to Target and Z Walmart oh, okay gonna keep my receipt So it was one, one forty fifty. It wasn't bad actually, considering it's Costco. Yeah, one forty fifty. That's how much it was. I save all the receipts because I do scan those. So give me a second. Girl, we gotta. This is why I wasn't like I lost a certain amount for keto, but then I wasn't like losing any more. Any more. All right, hang on. Yep, I'm refreshing. There we go. Yeah, it's gonna lag. We're leaving. Um, we're leaving Costco, so we're like on a different thing. Uh. All right. I always feel like we're too close, but that's just me. Hang on, I'm trying to figure out where to put you guys. I still haven't figured out where the proper placement for this thing is in this car. All right, we gotta go to, I want it low, but then this one's too low, and it's like too close. I think that's good. Are you guys good? All right. Okay. trying to figure out where to put this thing i cannot decide for my life uh, rob is good he just called me that's why i had to stop
there's a Target over here, but do I want to go to this Target or do I want to go to my Target? Um, they got a Walmart over here too. I guess we could tr try this when it closes in two hours. I think we should go to the Super Target. What do you think? There's a Target like across the street, but I think that's a regular Target. I mean, I guess we can try, right? Because we're already here, so let's try it. Let's mm -hmm. take State Route 434 Altamont Springs. Yeah, where does it go? Across the way, yeah, for sure. Thanks, I just want to make sure you can see me. I can't really, like, see what's going on. Can't see anything right now, so sorry. I'll get caught up in the chat in a second because it, like, turns it off when I'm driving. <laughs> I can just see you guys. I can flip it over so you could just see the street. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, so hard to do. I can't. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. I'll turn this down. Perfect. Alright, we're gonna go to, I guess we'll go to the Target across the street. We'll see if that one's any better. We'll give it a go. Kind of what we do in America. I love the consumerism. Yes, that's how we are. <laughs> Yay, capitalism. <laughs> hey, but you gotta buy. So, how do people shop in other countries? You don't buy food then? You don't buy clothes? You don't buy toiletries? You just smell all day? Is that what it is? I'm very confused. All right. Good Lord. Everybody's at Costco after work. Look at all these people buying groceries. Such an American thing to do. It is. You gotta feed your family. <laughs> Unless you're into the whole starvation diet. Um, okay. Let's roll. Turn right. Oh my Lord. It's like crazy running errands after work because everybody, like, everybody is doing In 600 it. feet, turn left, yeah. then turn left. Uh, can't make a Yui here. We gotta do it up the light. Oh, I should have done a three point turn. Oh, it's right there. I'm such a dingling. I've been to this one before. Okay, let's roll. Yep, yep, yep. I just, I should have just cut across. It's on the other side of the street. Use the left lane to turn left on Laurel Street. Then turn left. Okay. Left on Laurel. Oh, Lord. Oh, right here, right here. Right into the Target Plaza. Word. Turn left. Here we are. Okay. Everybody's, like, running around after work. Bye. In 900 feet, you'll arrive. Yep, yeah, because that's Home Depot right there. I you guys were saying the Home Depot was pet friendly. That's cool. That's pretty cool, actually. Any bow? Oh, are they selling Christmas trees? Oh, no, it's just plants. I got it, like, wow for a minute. I was going to say, what? I think usually it's like Thanksgiving. They bring out the trees. I'm like, but those trees are just little, little bushes, little bushes. I got, like, thrown there for a minute. I'm like, what? Yeah. Actually, I'm half Filipino, so yeah, Filipinos drive crazy. Just like any other third world country, you know, like they don't follow the uh, rules. Like two lanes, they make it into four lanes. If you ever seen like 
watching videos from like other countries. It's just like New York, you know, like you'll have two lanes, but then there's five lanes of traffic across, you know, any other country, India, the Philippines, South America, you make your own rules there. You don't even have police. I don't think they even give you tickets or anything like that if you drive crazy. They don't, you just kind of make your own rules. And you have the little beep beep, the little tricycle things. What do you call those things? Like a little buggy. I don't know. It's like a motorcycle. And then it has like a cab, like a Hagrid's cab, like the little cab. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, America's land of the free, home of the brave, you know. It's not for everybody, but then you know you have another channel to watch, so go do that. <laughs> you gotta love the keyboard commandos. Go down the other aisle. This is like a different, I've never been, well, I'm not snapper. I've been to this Target before, but it's a regular Target. It's not a super Target. It's not very big, but we're going to go see what they got. If it's like picked over, then we'll go to a different one. Usually I like to go to the super Target because this is really small Target. It's a baby Target. But since it was across the street, let's just try it out. I usually like my target better. Oh no. Oh, there's one right here by the tree. We love the tree. Yes, you gotta love the navigation. Helps you to park. Car practically drives itself. Actually, this is one of those park yourself things. I still don't wanna do it. I still wanna do it myself. There you go. We're Target. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Yeah, they actually have... Oh, wait till he sees the Starbucks on the Target. He might poop himself. <laughs> Yay, capitalism. You gotta keep the economy going, right? All right, let's go. We did our Costco haul, which was fantastic. It wasn't even like... Okay, so there's a lot of food. It's just the way in Asia and other countries where you go to a market where it's an open air market and you pick out your food, your vegetables, your like it's all open to the elements. You know, they don't have refrigerated meat in styrofoam and plastic. I know I've traveled. I know how food is in other countries. Um, Asia, a lot of Asia is poor country you know unless you're in singapore that's where all the crazy rich, rich asian asians are right jason <laughs> i'm like someday i'm gonna cruise to that's that's my next thing i want to do a cruise to singapore so we could do like you know vietnam like bali indonesia like it's like the whole the whole like asian cruise i mean i want to i want to go so bad that's like the dream bucket list more than alaska everybody says you got to do alaska ones but i don't like cold climate but i definitely want to do an asian cruise like the whole south pacific but they do like i think vietnam malaysia singapore but most of them they use singapore as the port just like the newest disney ship you know the adventure is not even going to america it's gonna go straight to asia because gonna go for that like big big asian money that's where they're gonna go people who gamble like my grandma you know <laughs> asian people like to gamble don't they're just like my mom like my, my bio mom you just leave her in front of a machine and go clinky clinky clinkly oh look at that there's a starbucks inside the target yay capitalism okay <laughs> i mean look at that they even put a little cup holder i know shocking all right that's okay starbucks closes an hour before target does look at all the halloween stuff oh my gosh dollar spot y'all the best cute 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 the dollar spot is dangerous oh my gosh you need a drink in the shower they get a shower drink caddy okay
Oh, you tried Balut. Oh my gosh. Rob won't even try Balut. He's like, yeah, no. <laughs> or the Dinaguan, the, the, the blood one. He's like, heck no, I'm not trying that baloney. I'm like, it's okay. But he'll try almost anything. Like Rob loves like Filipino food. He loves, he'll try anything. Half the time you just don't tell him, oh my gosh, the candy corn speaker. All the Halloween stuff, so cute. All right, my snacks, because you need a container for your snacks. I love that. I need a container for the honey. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh, I can put that in the car. It's a window light. Bendable rope light. Wow, a lot of good stuff. I need a little mason jar or something to store, because that, that plastic Tupperware thing, kind of, I had to put it in the plastic bag like I showed you guys. It spilled all the molasses in there, so I want to make sure something that doesn't spill so much dollar spot stuff so cute little bucket i love it so adorbs i like it when they have this some of the targets don't have the cup holder but if you're gonna have a starbucks on the target literally mm -mm -mm. that's cute we got to find a... Oh, look at these. A dollar spot. Wow. Oops. Scaredy cats. Oh, it's... um. What do you call that? Glitter and stuff like that. That's cute. Oh, he tried balloon. He's braver than me. I've had it. Rob won't try it, but it is what it is. It is what it is, what it is, what it is. Oh, go ahead. There's so much stuff on the dollar spot. It's like crazy. Candles, stuff. What is this? Oh, it's a packing cube. Ah, uh, sorry. Foldable. Oh, look, they have these if you're cruising. $3 at the dollar spot. Look at this. It's a good deal for a travel bottle set. That's not a bad deal at all. If you want to transfer all your cosmetics on here, if you're flying especially. Luckily, if you're cruising, if you don't have to fly to the port, you can just take your full-size items so you don't have to transfer them. But if you're definitely flying, 3 bucks. That's a good little set right there. There's some scrunchies, a neck pillow. There's a lot of good travel items in here, you guys. Mm, collapsible tumblers. Yeah, these are good. I like the little apothecary jars. So cute. I like the little pink scrunchies. I have so many, but those are cute colors. All right. What did I come here for? It's a grocery thing, but we're going to go look. <laughs> All right. We love Target Run. It's hot in here. Usually it's freezing. Mm. All right, we'll go look some more stuff. It's a regular Target. It's not a Super Target. I feel like we should have gone to the Super Target, but that's okay. We'll see. Oh, cute. Cute, cute, cute. They got the cutest kids' clothes, I swear. Um, Oop Pop Socket. Mm. I ordered one from Etsy. I got the Mickey one on us. We can always see the edge of it. It always sticks out. You need the slime ones? Is that what it was? No, no. It was always lowercase. No, they have the big T's too. This is an older Target, you could tell. It's not the Super Target. Oh, the newer bougie ones have an Ulta in them. An Ulta in a, in, a, in a Starbucks. I mean, you literally don't need to go anywhere else. Look at all the wall of gift cards. Perfect. I'll go look at the... Remind me to go look at the tumblers. You're looking, you're looking for slime ones? All right. Oh, I started using this stuff. Okay, now they have it. This was like went viral on TikTok, but it's to help your hair grow. So I've been using that at night. It's like a rosemary and mint scalp oil. Okay, I needed not shampoo... Not conditioner. There was something I needed and I forgot. It'll come to me. Mm -mm -mm. 
I was looking for curlers too, like the the big ones. Like I'm trying to do like that hack, like the blowout, like with the large curlers. Like you curl it, you put your hair in a ponytail, and then you like curl your bangs. I want to try that that TikTok hack, having like the perfect blowout. I've been doing the the heatless curls. That's what the that's what this is right now. It's like the the heatless curl so it's you know that's been work. i ordered a new one because mine was starting to look all ratchet so um i want to try the blowout look which is like the i can't remember the not the big the big rollers but they're like the bel velcro rollers that's the one i'm looking for there's so much hair stuff literally so much hair stuff i just gotta remember to just use the products i have before i buy more of the same thing like different brand <laughs> like uh, uh, uh don't see any velcro rollers here i need to go to tj maxx actually because they'll probably have it there i wonder if there's a tj maxx there probably is one close by so i don't even see any velcro rollers here what no the big velcro rollers i mean if anything i can order it from amazon but i know tj maxx usually has good stuff too like especially the one by my house at big tj maxx home goods in lake mary that we always go to that one's super good it always has stuff love the dr teals after working at the theme park all day i use the bubble bath but i have the bag stuff that that stuff the himalayan this is my favorite flavor, the pink Himalayan. But they started coming out with sugar scrubs too now. I like the tree hut stuff. That stuff is good. Oh, here's the tree hut stuff right here. Oh, the, I have the rose body wash. What is the vitamin C? I have the Moroccan rose. I was going through my rose era right now. Ooh, I don't like that one. Tropical glow moisture shave oil. Tropic glow. That probably smells like the beach. Body butter. Mm -mm -mm. I've used the tree hot stuff for years and now they're super popular. They're like blown up. Desert haze. Coco colada. That one smells like the beach. But I like the brown sugar one. The original OG brown sugar blue lagoon oh my gosh just dropping the battery shea sugar pineapple vanilla moroccan rose i always like have to exfoliate like <laughs> time to reapply the new tan every week i don't know strawberry what flavor should we get the coco colada is always good I don't even know what desert haze and blue lagoon smell like. Cactus flower and raspberry. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> Tropical glow is gone. Apparently that's the most popular. Uh, red algae and dead sea. Okay, no. I just want the brown sugar one. brown sugar they don't maybe walmart will have it glow and radiance rose hemp mm. and there's more different brand they have it's like an ulta inside target now it's insane hey 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 I would not try Balut. Amen. <laughs> hey, the Balut is kind of crazy. Like, bubble bath stuff. I love the bath bombs. Okay, look at all the bath bombs. There's so many bath bombs. They do not have the... Oh, yes. I need to go down there. I need to get that root spray, body scrub. We'll check when we go to Walmart. I'll probably head back towards by me because this one's a regular one i like the brown sugar one or the tropical glow that's why it smells like a beach and these are good for before a trip travel um that's what i was looking for for sure was the scrub because i was out of the brown sugar scrub 
I always need it before I redo the tan for the week. It has to be the platinum one. Might have to go to CBS for that one. They don't have the right color. I don't have a hair appointment till Friday. I can't get in there. She's all booked up. Like, as it is, it's hard for me to go before work because I don't want to be late for work. So I usually just go on my day off. She doesn't work on Monday, so I would have gone today. But she can't see me till Friday, so Friday it is. Um... Yeah, I always use that stuff, but it's the one I have in my car I'm out of, but it's like the ones that turn the dark hair blonde, I guess. It's it's a good temporary cover-up until you get your roots done. Oop, here they are. Wait, what? There's iced coffee. What is it? Buy $25, get a $5 gift card. Nice. Iced coffee it is. Yeah, that's perfect. I want to smell like iced coffee. Ooh, cinnamon dolce. No way. Um, I'm going to do iced coffee because who doesn't want to smell like coffee? I do. All right, I'll get some of that. It's all leaky. Hang on, they're all kind of sticky. Wait, they're all sticky. Ooh, dear. Mm, perfect. I'll get that. Mm, smells good, though. <laughs> Smells like a Starbucks. All right, we got that. Got a scrub. I ordered some of that Korean snail mucin. That should be coming. Um, I'm gonna try that. It looks like very moisturizing, so I'm excited. You know, speaking of gift kits, they already have, look at all the Christmas gift sets. They're already out. The Sephora gift kits are already out. It's October 1st, but we're getting a jump on Christmas apparently. So, it's already out. tools yeah this one's a little different than mine although it's similar um pixie love the glow tonic from there wet and wild they got la girl oh wow their eye pencil isn't too bad for cheap the la girl like the you know the mini brow pencil is not bad at all Trying to find a new cream, a nude one. Mine are all dried out. I lost my nude one. I don't know where it went. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Oh, they have Beauty Bakery here. I like her powder. Yeah, this stuff. It comes in a little flower. Look how cute. <sighs> it's like a woman owned brand, but her powder is really good. Alrighty, Pixie. I love the glow tonic. I rotate on and off. I need like glycolic type treatments for toners. I'm using the Soap and Glory one right now, the grapefruit one. It's also like a lactic acid one. It's really, really good. Every night after I wash my face. Okay, next. A lot of times at Target's, everything's like picked over or like opened. <laughs> you know, struggle. Actually, it's not too bad. Yeah, this is what I always use is the pencil. I always use the ash brown one. This one, ash brown. It's for 10 bucks. It's to me the closest to the Anastasia, but I've used that for years. Years and years and years. Oops, I'm gonna grab a green one. Is tried and true. I'm out of the regular. I have the glow one, but I need I need another setting spray. It's 
that your makeup does not go anywhere. Putty trio for the putty. Yeah, I've used this. This is a dupe for the um the glow re not glow recipe. It's the super goop. It's the super goop. It's even have the same packaging. Literally like a dupe for the the glow recipe 30, but I use 50. 30 on top of it. I love the Tula. The Tula one's 30, but it's like very it's it's a little bit more pricey, but it's got a vitamin C and it's really but it's like a vitamin C sunscreen. It's super good and hydrating. I have so much sunscreen, but sunscreen is your friend now, you know. 12 days of beauty, you got little advent calendars. I mean, all the Christmas stuff is out, you guys. It's crazy. You use that serum? Ah, oh, so good. Yes, Kristen, don't we all, I mean, if it, they wouldn't put cup holders if it's not a thing, it's a thing. Yes, I do. I, I found the Cozarex, so I tried. I bought there. It should be here in a day or two. Um, I got the Cozarex snail mucin as well as the... Is that true, Jason, that you're supposed to put it on after you tone, like with your toner still wet? Because I guess it works better if your face is wet. You know what I mean? That's what I was told. Or or like I was reading... Like, oh, there you go. Sorry. How? To, no wonder we were so close. Um... That's what I heard, right? You're supposed to wash your face, tone, put the toner on, and then put the snail mucin on. And then it keeps it, because my skin is like the Sahara Desert. It's always dry. So these weren't bad dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, but I prefer if you want a very creamy, inexpensive, like I have the Mario um, contour, the medium one of this I used to, it's more warm tone, but that's my second or third stick of this. I even used the blush. It wasn't bad, but I have the Juvia's Place blush. Holy cow, that is pigmented. It's going to last me 20 years because it's literally never going to run out because it's so, so pigmented. You've got to use like a tiny bit of it. But if you can find Juvia's Place at Ulta, their cream liquid brushes, blushes are so good. But they are very pigmented, like use with caution. You just need a tiny bit. And I use the stippling brush with it. One of these. It's actually an elf one. Yeah, a stippling brush. That way it's like, or one of these. That'll work too. Um, that way it's not super heavy. And then you can always just dab with a beauty blender if you put too much on. And it lasts me all day. People always ask me how you keep your makeup on at the park, even working outside. That's exactly how I do it. Alright, so I have pens for work. Good on the deodorant. Scrub. That's on the list. I have a mental list in my head. So I even have, like, I should... I have it on auto delivery from Amazon, like that, and then the little um, Glade, these things, the unstoppables. I'm unstoppable, okay. Oh, here's an espresso, 150, why is this so cheap? That's not a bad deal, it's on sale. But I was told that the Breville one is better than the DeLonghi. Because there's two makers of Nespresso's. There's DeLonghi and there's a Breville. Um, just from reading lots of reviews. I was too research before I buy anything that expensive. Is definitely go for the Breville one. And I just want the very simple small one that just does pods. The little old school pods. That just straight espresso oh is that the only why is there no espresso makers anywhere oh these are here now the, the stanley dupes the simple modern i heard these are really good so i've been using my 30 ounce this one i have in a car the 40 is just ginormous it's like a lethal weapon but i heard those are really good they're a good Stanley dupe. Yes, I'm surprised there's even one left. Oh, you can order them on Amazon. They have a lot more colors. I heard they don't leak as badly. Mm, I bought a mug. These are cute. There was a ghost mug. That's what I saw. <laughs> there was a ghost one. Okay, where's the coffee makers? Was that it? Hmm... No, this is like an end cap. There's got to be a um, coffee maker aisle. Because that's just an end cap. 
because they come in different pods, but they do sell this Starbucks blonde espresso. That's my favorite um, type of espresso because it's very mild. It's not super strong. Huh. Well, oh, I need dish soap. Just like not dish soap, Jen. <laughs> Where is it? the squirt and mop? Squirt and mop. All the Christmas flavors are out. Pumpkin spice. I love the spaces. I always buy these two little small spaces. I got them in all the bathrooms and closets. I need a new one from a car. Ocean's pretty good, but you know, I love the Old Spice. We'll have to get it from Walmart because they only have it at Walmart, the Old Spice flavor. I love like the mahogany teak wood, so I like that smell. It smells like, like man cologne. Ooh, Bora Bora waters. Yeah, they aren't bad. Unstoppable. The Ocean's good. I love the Ocean. I do use the Ocean a lot. I have a lot of the these things. Um, But they don't have the old spice ones because hmm. it smells like man cologne <laughs> it smells like closest thing to mahogany teakwood that i get uh no okay we'll go to walmart and find that walmart has the old spice flavor vanilla 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 apple cinnamon Okay. Hey, Daniel, how are you? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, you're going to love the ship. I definitely want to sell the treasure since it's the twin of the wish. And the treasure does seven day cruises. That was my whole thing, you know? It's like, I want to, like, I'm going on my first shorter cruise in 21 days. I got three weeks till my next cruise and I'm going to cry. I've never been on a cruise that short in my life. <laughs> Anything less than a week is brutal, you know. It just hurts my feelings. I always get the Clorox wipes. I don't know if the Target brand's good. Might be. We got one lemon, one fresh. It's not a bad deal. Um, I usually just use the Clorox. Centiva. Where is the dish soap, though? The dish soap. Clorox for everything. Bleach is your friend. If these vinegar work, I miss the days where we could use bleach. Bleach is just the only thing that will clean anything and everything. Where's the big pack? They have a whole... See, Walmart has the big... They have like the six-pack or something of bleach. Okay, we'll have to get that one at Walmart then. Do they... I thought I put a brand new spray away in the back of the car. That's the best glass cleaner. It doesn't um, streak. So, I think I have one of these in the car. I could be wrong, but this is not streaky. I swear I bought one of these already, but that's okay. Could never have too many um, spray aways, but this is the only thing you clean. I need to clean the inside of my car. Um, I have microfiber cloths in the back because that works well as well. Tub and tile, foaming. Got a lot of bleach wipes. What is that? Uh, bathroom wipes. I'm sorry, soap scum. Alright, let me get to a little cleaner because that's 
like our foaming bleach. Bleach? Yeah, we do need bleach actually. Agreed. I love the smell of bleach. It smells good. It's the only way you know it's clean. Power wash. Oh yeah, I have that. That works well. Mm, I bought a scrub, mommy. That works really, really good with the pink paste. It works really good on the bathroom grime, like your doors. Um, mm -mm -mm. See, at Walmart they have the pink one. They don't have the pink down here. Mm. They don't have the pink one here. That's okay. <laughs> they have a pink dawn. Right. Well, actually, I put it in a Mickey head anyway. Not like you can see it. Should have bought some of that, but I didn't think about it. We could have got it at Costco as well. Alrighty. Let's go down here. It's all different. Oh, there's a whole nother row of air fresheners. All the Christmas stuff is out. Oh. Mm, yeah, the winter spruce. Rob loves all of the winter flavors. The pine, as long as it smells like a pine tree, he likes. But do they have the pine tree plugins yet? No. Because they don't. I use the Glade one. Glade, that's for breeze. Where's the winter spruce? There are just way too many flavors. I don't like the cashmere woods. That like, it's like I would gag in when I turned it. I did, yeah, I bought that by accident one time. It was not good. Airwick. Yeah, they have all the Christmas stuff out. Mm. Here's the glade. Oh, pumpkin spice. Does that smell good? Does it smell bad? Mm, I don't know. I can't tell. It doesn't smell that strong, which is good, I guess. I like the apple one. It smells really good. Um, that one I can barely smell, but then it's probably going to be so strong. Smell it. This is overpowering it. I don't know, guys. Yeah, the, the apple one, delicious. That stuff, the apple cider. But they only have the small spaces. They don't have the pack. Like Walmart had the big pack like that. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, I feel like we went down this aisle already because we did. Okay, I'll go down the food aisle. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I don't see any other coffee makers. Blenders. Blenders. Here's the virtual, oh, $99. That's a deal and a steal. The virtual pop, it's a hundred bucks. Wow, because it's red. I'll just get a gray one or a white one, but it's a DeLong. Oh no, this one's a Breville. Yeah, I heard the Breville is better. Like the Breville brand, see how it's Breville or DeLong. But there's a gray one. It's because they're like blue and red and gray, but $99 is not a bad deal, especially if you get the Breville one. But I wanted the, like the one that used the original pods. I know the Virtual Pop Plus is a newer one. You like the pumpkin spice? Nice. Um, that's all air fryers. I use my air fryer every day. It's just, 
I still want to get an instant pot though because a lot of <laughs> like because it's also a pressure cooker you know we like the oxtails things like that that we will always use for cooking all the meatses I have a pink one actually of these <laughs> I have a pink rice cooker Oh, yeah, I was looking for one of these, a small mason jar or container to put the maple syrup in. But these are just lids. Like the little ones, like when you go to Cracker Barrel or on the cruise ship, they had a little baby mason jar that had a lid. I'm like, that would be perfect to keep the maple syrup in so I can take it with me because that's my only way to sweeten things. And I can use the plastic thing for now. Yeah, they don't have the little baby mason jars. Maybe Walmart have like canning supplies and things. 99 bucks for that one though is not a bad deal. I wanted like the super basic one. Like, like this, the virtual plus. Like just something basic. $2.19. But these are $99. Are they bad? Why are they so cheap? Is it because of the color? These are $100. These things. Yeah. I just, I'm going to get it in the gray or the black. Big mish, small taste. Okay. I mean, for $100. Oh, this is the one I was looking at. The Essenza Mini. It's tiny. Yeah, it's really, really small. But the smaller it is, yeah, I was looking at this one. It's the most compact. See how tiny? I watch um, Aboard with George. is one of a cruise ship uh, ice skater. She has one of these she takes on the ship with her. And she's had it. They're like five contracts. So I'm like, okay, that sucker is like sturdy, even though that it's, you know, and it's tiny. I might want to get one of these. It sends the minis. The smaller it is, the more expensive it is. Crazy, right? Like, this is 179 but it's small. I love that. These are 99 Yeah, there it is. It sends a mini. Because that way it doesn't take up a lot of room. I'm like, and it has the water reservoir in the back. But she has one of these, and she's, she has it on the cruise ship. So I'm like, that's, I've seen it now for like a couple years. I've seen her do, you know, YouTube. Because all I, want, I need it for is espresso. I don't need all the fancy. I have a coffee maker for that. I just need straight espresso, you know? So, and that is a Breville. That's probably why it's that one. But these ones are Breville also. They look like this. But why are they so cheap? I'm confused. Oh. I don't know. Somebody tell me which one to get. I don't like the color. There's no white. The white one's cute. This one is adorable. I don't need it to make coffee. Maybe that's why she got that one. I just need like a basic one that makes espresso. I don't need it to make coffee, but I guess. Maybe one of those. Hey, Brandon, how are you? Yeah, they have these for $99, the Nespresso's. I'm like, are they terrible? Why are they so cheap? But they're these colors, I guess, because they're like the bright colors. This one's the one I wanted, the small one. That it sends a mini because it only makes like espresso is all I really need and I don't need nothing super fancy because I already have the giant ninja one I don't know like I know the Breville ones are better this is 169 the small one's more expensive <laughs> crazy that's right here this thing but it's compact I love that it comes with a small I might end up getting that one. I don't know. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. But, I mean, are these worth it? Or why are they so cheap? Are they bad? The Virtual Pop Plus? It's like, why is it super cheap? I'm confused. I don't know. There's so many kinds. I know for sure that the Breville ones are better than the DeLonghi ones. So I know to get a Breville branded one. That's all I know. Mm. 
I think about it, but they have the little baby one I want. Because all I need is, is for espresso. I don't need it for anything else. Hey, 21 days on my next cruise. Going on the Independence of the Seas. Back on the end. I'm oh, back on the Indy. I haven't been on the Indy. Peter has. So he's been on Indy three times. It's like a five-day fortnight. So, hey, we'll do it. Why not? It'll be fun. Going, that's the family cruise with the fam. Oh, that's what we needed at Costco. Y'all, paper plates. I totally forgot. Totally forgot. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to buy it here. It's way more expensive. Should have bought it at Costco. I didn't think about it. Jen had a moment. I should go to the dollar store. Our stores, Dollar General is good for that too. Although I might not even really need it. Well, I just need it for my um, eggy bites because I have the Costco ones that I bought. Bag salad, yogurt. Let's see if they have anything organic here. Let's see what we can buy at Target. No veggies. They won't have raw yogurt. I'm into, like, I've been into drinking the raw milk now. I found a raw milk place by my house. It's like $90 for five things. But, hey, raw milk is the bomb. It is delicious. I'm going to go have me a glass when I get home. It is the creamiest, most delicious milk you've ever had in your life. It's so good. It's 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 raw cow's milk. But we found I found a it's called Wild um, Hair Market. And it's in Longwood, and it's like a little grocery store. It's open 10 to 6 every day. But instead of, like, going to the mark, uh, going to the farm to go get the raw milk and another place for the other things, like, they sell all the farm-raised local meats and honey and everything in there. So, I'm going to join the, they have, like, a milk plan where you can get the raw milk every week. It delivered, like, every Thursday. See, they don't... Cause yeah, all you want non-pasteurized milk. Mm. Is it cheaper here or Walmart? I don't know. Six nineteen. I think it's the same. I could be wrong. You know what? They have it at Walmart. Since we have to go anyway, let's just go there. Do 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 do. Jesus. Yeah, it's not too, too much in here. I think I can eat. Oh, this, the, you see, they got keto bread everywhere. But the nature's own, if you're going to do a low-carb bread, is better than that. It, and it's at, like, Publix. Super good. Okay. Um, yeah, there's nothing here I really can eat. I got condiments. We're good. But yeah, Nature's Own makes a keto one, but it's only at uh, Publix. It's really, really good. Indy is nice. Okay, perfect. Oh, you did? Yeah, we've just been staying home. Like, you know, Peter and I hang out on the Metaverse. <laughs> we went to a tech conference. But we were using our Oculus. But I'm just trying to stay home. Not to go out too, too much. Because, you yeah, know, if I go out, I spend money. But we are starting this whole animal style diet so i had to get like stuff you know like staples and like stuff i can bring to work snacks the key for me is i get starving and you know if you work nights or any type of shift work you're always starving at the end of your shift starving so <laughs> starving and that's when i go like oh let's go to wawa go to mcdonald's you know oh look, look at all halloween stuff it's all picked over but so cute all the animal costumes. Wow, they like killed Halloween. Well, you know what we haven't done this year is gone to the Spirit Halloween. Halloween. We haven't. Yeah, this is like a baby Target. It's not a super Target. So there's not as much stuff. Like It is literally picked over. Insane. But we need to go visit um, Spirit Halloween. We always go every year. And we got to go hit up like Home Goods, TJ Maxx. Should have went back to my neck of the woods. I'm all the way in Altamont because not all the way. It's like up the road. Oh, that's kind of cute. Because I had to go to Costco. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
They don't have a lot of pink Halloween things, so. Black. Cute, though. Yeah, but we, we still have room on our group cruise in March, honey. So let me know. So excited for that. Finally get to all cruise together as a as a team here, as a community. So we are, yeah, that's my next. I paid off my December cruise. That's also why I've been, I've only been scheduled like two days a week. So I've been really, oh, look at all the, look at all their um, Stanley dupes, you guys. There's Target Stanley dupes. $37.99. I mean, it's half the price. Walla ones. And look, it like doesn't leak. I heard these are good. I saw these on TikTok too. I mean, that's a, one of the girls at work has that, but it's bad because, you know, the Stanley's leak, but I gave Peter one so he could be bougie at the office. <laughs> I have my two Stanley's good enough. You know, I want to get that simple modern one. That one I heard is a really good dupe, but doesn't leak. That Uwala one too, I saw on TikTok. It said it doesn't leak either. All right. Uh, oh, look how fancy this one is. Like, it's a fancy one. Look at your phones. It's like the Apple Titanium, which you're on the 15 Pro Max right now. Yeah, I hope you, I wish you could make it on that cruise, Brandon. Hopefully, you know. At least we're back to getting three days a week this week and next week. So, I am grateful. <laughs> Losing that extra day at work is like we were doing some just cutting back on hours, you know, because we were slow at Disney, believe it or not. Slowest year we've had yet. Oh, these are fluffy. They look so fluffy. Oh my goodness. I'm a, I love blankets. Too many throws. Um, but yeah, so paid off December. I just have um, our group cruise next. That's the next thing to pay off. And then yeah, I'm, I booked a Virgin cruise as well for 2024. So I've got three cruises booked for 2024. We're not even going to talk about it. And in 2025, I already have one cruise booked. Oh, I hit the game. This is how I'm figuring out how it becomes more cost effective. Book it early, pay it a little bit at a time. And then you're booking so early, so you're getting the best rate. You know, plus Royal has that, um, the Royal match guarantee anyway. So if it does go down you'll get that credit. So but more than anything, it always goes up, not down, as we all know. Oh no, I have, I have, I can check for you on the back end because you know we have rooms reserved. So let me know if you need me to book it because remember I have rooms locked up. So I know the prices have doubled for the March cruise, but if you book it through me, I have some rooms reserved. That's why it helps because I can set aside certain rooms, you know? All right, what are we doing? All right. I'm gonna get the spray away actually. take a look I have a couple left on there so that are like locked in at that price and that's why I did it I don't know if any left on my rig but we're gonna use that and I'll pay the rest
Yeah, I think I have some Ocean View rooms left that are Ocean View. They're like $9.88, I believe. So, because those were locked in like nobody's business, you know, because I got, I locked them in whenever we, months ago when we booked the cruise or got the group cruise going. So let me know. I can check for you. Yeah, I've got three booked for next year already. <laughs> I told you, like, Peter created a monster. But it's the way to do it if we're just trying to save money is definitely, you know, book them early. And that way we get the best deal on cruise prices. Because, like I said, and oh, we also booked a Virgin Cruise for next year. So we're doing the Dominican Days. It's a five-day. I didn't know they had longer ones, but they are six, seven nine i've been doing my first mate so i'm doing all the travel agent stuff for virgin voyages as well so i was doing that so whenever i'm home that's what i was doing doing more of the classes just because you know it doesn't hurt to learn more i finished all the royal caribbean stuff and i just uh keep up i keep up with the the education Oops. stuff on that one i'm like luckily i didn't buy any like what do you call it? Perishables. You did. You created a monster. Yeah, Black Friday is probably the cheapest time that you book all your... Um, not just booking a cruise, but that's when I suggest all the people buy their dining. Other dining, you know, specialty dining, internet... Um, drink package any of the extra stuff excursions things like that disney's a whole different animal so it's different than like i'm sure they have deals as well but like definitely royal caribbean virgin because we there's a 15 percent off right now for um virgin voyages if you live in florida plus if you pay off your cruise in 180 days you get another 10 percent off so it was like 15 17 oh crap i don't remember 17 i think but it always looks like it's more off the bat with virgin but remember it includes it includes everything and so that's the thing yeah you created a monster i mean you know what's gonna happen i mean can we say by the end of the year would be five cruises for me? Who is she right now? Done five cruises in one year. Rob's like, that's not going to be like every other year, Missy. That's not going to be a thing. I'm like, yeah, it's not going to be a thing. <laughs> yeah. So that's just uh, not going to be every year kind of thing. So that's what Rob said. That's not... You know, we had the Galactic Star Cruiser, which is, you know, done now forever and ever, which is really sad. Um, you know, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do? All right, we've got to go to Walmart. Why is Apple Car Play not on? Hang on, let me try this again. Sometimes. Yeah, I've, I've tried caribou. Um, when I was in Vegas, they had a lot of the caribou coffee company places over there. Why is it not? is apple carplay oh since josh's cruise yeah they're doing november i know like they're doing the november cruise which i couldn't go to because i'm doing my family cruise in october so i couldn't go to the november one i would have loved to have done that because that was a uh it's gonna be on the odyssey i have not done quantum class yet but that's on the agenda why is this not Okay, it's being crazy. Give me a second. I'm going to go out and come back in. Give me one second. Give me uno momento. All right, sorry. I always have to reconnect whenever I get in the car. All right, there you are.
No. Um, we're going to go to the Walmart on Reinhardt, I think. Are we good now? All right, sorry. Let's take Markham Woods Road. Arrival time on this route is similar to State Route 434 Altamont Springs, Lake Emma Road, Lake Mary. In 300 feet, turn left, then turn right. Okay. Got the water in the Stanley. It was hot in there. <laughs> turn left, then turn right. She's so aggressive. This is what happens when I go to Target and like not my Target neighborhood. I'm on a different turn Target. right, Shh. then turn right on State Route 436. She's Girl, like I'm in Altamont, so I love them all here. That's one of my favorites. Love them all. Turn right on State Route 436. Ooh, people are hauling at mm, blank. They go for like a hundred miles an hour in the city streets. I bet that one was more expensive. Yeah, I had the deposit down on that one, but then we decided to do a family cruise in October, and then instead of one cruise, I'm doing, I'm still getting eight days, because that one's an eight day. I am getting my eight. I will hit platinum on our group cruise in March. That's why you gotta come, Brandon, you gotta come. I believe I had two ocean view left that were like nine something. In three quarters of a mile. Which was cheaper Turn than an interior. Road. So, cheaper than an interior. So, definitely, I will check for you. I'm excited. I mean, I kind of kept it pretty small, too. I didn't want to do anything too big since it's my first group cruise, you know. I learned from the best, Mr. Josh. Um, Peter picked this one. It's actually a seven-day, six-night, seven-day on the Symphony. And we've not done the Symphony before. Um, I just love Oasis class, man. I just want big ships, and I cannot lie. I heard that Indy is nice, which is freedom class. So, independence, so these classes of ships, just the same size as a Disney ship. Um, but, like, Disney ships don't feel small at all. Not one bit. I really want to go on the adventure, but then we'll have to go to Singapore to go do her. Because she's the, the Oasis class ship that Disney bought. Because it was partially built and then the people went out of business so Disney bought it it's the Disney adventure but she's not even coming to America she's going straight to Asia <laughs> that crazy rich Asian money I guess that's what they're going for yeah oh good night hi RG how are ya we're driving headed to Walmart I'm doing a lot of city streets since I have a, I gotta put it on eco drive actually. Uh, I have a hybrid, so actually driving on the city. In 1,000 feet, use the left two lanes to turn left on Montgomery Road. It's the next light. So it's actually better for my gas mileage. I'm not trying to avoid I-4, so I'm just running around town. Um, to drive on the city streets, it's actually better on my gas Turn mileage. left on Montgomery Road. Heard you, girl. She's so loud. Sorry. But, yeah, I actually do better on mileage driving city streets, and then I have the different modes on the car, so I put it on eco mode, so 
you know, that's what I did. I, I didn't take I-4 because it was a cluster around 5 o'clock anyway when we were starting running errands. It was like rush hour. So it's better to just take the, the city streets. Hey, Ella. How are you, girl? Yeah, that is the, uh, I'm, I'm, hey, yes, Callie, it's late. So we went to Costco, girl, because I'm starting animal diet. I already started today, so all I had to eat today was three eggs. Spam's probably not clean, but I had spam that was open already, because, you know, <laughs> gotta, gotta love spam. It's like Filipino diet, right? But that's all I ate was, um, I finished off the spam that I fried it all up, had opened a can. I made a spam like sandwich last a uh, couple days ago. So, but I bought some more stuff like snacks for work, the eggy bites. But I'm starting animal, not straight carnivore, where it's just all meat. Um, I'm cop. Um, I'm following Dr. Paul Saladino. He's a doctor, doctor, double board certified. Actually, the man used to be vegan. That tells you something. So we're just driving around town. I'm gonna give you a little. I don't know if you guys want to look at me or look at the straight. I don't really know. But we're just taking... Actually, I found this little cute side road that gets me across town fairly well, actually. So, I've just been doing a little bit of the, uh, the city streets. Because it's better on the mileage for In the In 1.6 miles, turn right on State Route 434. Jeez. Yeah, but actually, I'll say I'll show you the street. Like, this is the same way I went back home. Or like, same way I got here. Since I have the hybrid now, I like try to <laughs> try to do the city streets, especially at night. Like, that's actually faster than taking I four. The freeway is so crazy, you know. I mean, it's a little bit later, but a lot of people are running errands after work, so we're still running around like errands, but why not? Go mile. I actually like driving. And then the car coaches you to make sure you like brake good. It's like a brake coach. So like power return 100%, so I'm competitive. I like compete with myself to make sure I'm doing good. Like that means you're driving really well. Like you're, you're gonna have to go behind the slow car because I think we're turning here shortly. I don't wanna miss my turn. Um, but like it breaks, when you brake it says brake return 100%, like power return. Because when you brake and you brake well, it returns the power back to the battery. So I love that. Like I could com compete with myself, but the car also has like sand mode, snow mode, slippery mode, sport. Like it has a lot of different modes. I love it. I do. I do really love the car. Hey Joey, how are ya? We just finished Target. We finished Costco. We're headed to Walmart. So yeah. Driving around, we are like leaving. Like we're in Altamont Springs, so we're in half a mile. Use the right lane to turn right on State Route 434. There you go. So we're just driving around. Actually, this way's faster, dude, than taking I-4 because the freeway is always a cluster. Especially coming to the Costco here in Altamont, it's just I found this was faster because there was all this like stuff going on on I-4. Especially I'm just doing errands. I love. What is this? Annunciation Catholic Church? Oh, I didn't even know there was a church right there. Yeah, the next light return. How are you guys doing? Oh, there you go. 100%. I know. Sorry, girl. I gotta turn her down, man. I don't know. I gotta turn her down. It's ways. She loud. She hates me. I'll have to fix the volume. Turn right on State Route 434. Girl, I heard ya. Sorry. <laughs> she hates me. She's just loud. Okay. Uh, Markham Woods Road. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. It's like the bougie, like rich people road. Oh, I gotta, I 
construction now and now. A lot of construction at night, just drive slow. I mean, I'm glad that they're fixing In it. In half a mile, turn left on Markham Woods Road. Oh, yeah, you go build the things, build the things. You just gotta drive really, really slow. What is this old Wendy's, random Wendy's? Yeah, if you can't, oh, actually you're one lane over, so you have to actually move over, always. Um, you gotta drive 20 miles an hour less than the speed limit. One thousand feet. Turn left. Yeah, it like runs parallel to I four, but it was a beautiful drive. I think it's this one. God, they're cool. Yeah. It's all like beautiful. Turn left houses. on Markham Woods Road. Like gorgeous. Words are loud. I know I got a muter. I don't know how to do it. Oh, there you go. There you go. I turned her off to alerts only. Sorry, y'all. For real. But this street is gorgeous. Like it all is tree line and it's like beautiful homes on the street. It's like the Alaqua area, like rich people live here. It's all like big mansions, mini mansions, like little big properties with gate gated, like not even a gated community, like gates, like estates. That's the word I'm looking for. It's like the little mansions where all the rich people live. <laughs> In other words. Oh, yes. Omar's moved up in the world now, you know? He's got his record coming out, right? Or just come out today? His single, his album. I mean, he deserves the world. He honestly does. He's so talented that he honestly... Ooh, there you go. Deserves the world. He really does. Oh, it won't be a scenic at night. You can't Continue see straight it. for seven minutes to West Lake Mary Boulevard. I can't see as well, but cute. Like, this was gorgeous driving here. Like, the sun was all beautiful, like, golden hour. Like, it was sunset. It was gorgeous driving down here today. It was pretty, pretty. Wildlife. Okay. Hopefully, we don't have any 14 foot alligators trying to eat us. That was crazy, though. That was insane. I told you guys, don't be poking around the canals at night. You never know what lurks below. Yeah, this is all estate homes, like big gated homes that are like, wow, beautiful. And the trees, it's all tree line. I know it's hard to see at night, but it's beautiful. The street, gorgeous. It's where the rich people live. Oh, it's right next to like at the very end of the street. Remember that fancy Christmas party that we go to for Rob's uh, doctor uh, friend? his old hospital like dr brooks's party this is where it is like over here like where all the rich people live it's nice though it's nice they got nice schools and stuff but nice area nice area that's why sometimes i don't mind living up here i'm not i mean i'm farther but i'm not that far but i like the ease of you know, I'm only like 40 miles from Disney, 40 minutes. Like, it's not that far. Depends. Traffic just makes it worse, you know. But I can get there in less time if there's no traffic. But it's like I'm not that far. And it's up here. It's just more peaceful. It feels more like a neighborhood. Like, you don't have a touristy. It's not as touristy, which is so nice, you know. I, this drive is gorgeous. I got to make sure I do this drive next time I try to go to Costco. Because the exit to Altamont from I-4 is ridiculous sometimes. Like, the light takes forever. So, like, this was a beautiful drive earlier with the sun going down. Oh, glorious. I put her on alert only because she's a bit much. 
man. It's you hit all the lights green, it's boom all the way down, you know? So nice. So nice. Yeah, I gotta go to work tomorrow. It's already nine o'clock. I gotta hurry. Go to Walmart, go get my things there. I don't even know what I want to eat for dinner. I've got some like chicken thighs um, that are defrosted. And then I have stew meat. I was going to make stew out of the stew meat in the crock pot. Because such is the life now, you know? <laughs> um, it's going to make something with it. I had so much meat, so I'm trying to eat all the meat in my freezer before I buy more meat, you know? But, yep, I'm going to start this thing. I'm going to see how far I can go with, like, the losing weight until, like, the cruise which is 21 days, so it's like three weeks, you know? I think I could hopefully lose 10 pounds by three in three weeks. I think I can do it. I just, you know, easy enough to do. I, I know what to do. It's not like I haven't done low carb before many, many times in my life. You know, I, it's actually, it's all I ate today was the, like from the early this morning, like last night, basically I ate late last night, the three eggs, but because, like, the fat fills you up more, you know? But I have fruit at home, too, that I can eat. I bought the snacks, like, the stuff I bought from, like, the sausage. It was all grass-fed, grass finish, The cheese, all of that. I need it for work because the key is that's when I get tempted is when I'm coming home from work because I need good food and I'm starving. After. No matter how hard or not as hard as you work, you're just hungry after work, period. Especially work nights then the temptation is twice as much because only thing opens are like Wawa, 7-Elevens, McDonald's, um, you know, Taco Bell, like super late night stuff, Wendy's. So like fast food, it's like all late and I'm always so tempted. I love to go to Wawa and stuff like that and I don't need to be doing that. So if I bring my own snickety snacks, then I'll eat that. Then I can make it home and eat my food when I get home also saves you money but that's the only way for any true diet to work is if you got to bring your own food i mean i was going through i was just eating bad you guys the last few months and i put on weight you could tell eating too many gummy nerds like bags of it because so delicious um uncrustables i was eating a ton of that so it's just too much <laughs> you know i gotta fit into those cruise dresses you know so we can make it happen and I'm jumping back on Supernatural um, I'm ordering a new one a new one comes out in a few days in like a couple weeks but my Supernatural my remotes haven't been working so I'm in the middle of workout it would stop in the middle of the workout I was like ah and I would get so frustrated and so annoyed that I would just stop it like it couldn't get through a 10 minute quick hits without stopping it was pissing me off I was like no because when you're in the zone you're like in the zone you know you're working out you're bopping you're whacking you're you're in the flow literally it's called flow and you're in the flow and then when your controller disconnects it stops the program and then it stops your workout and you know you lose your vibe so and plus I'm very competitive with myself trying to get the best score with accuracy and form which is going to be your strength your power score is always your form make sure you have perfect form you're using all the muscles mile. in your body use the right lane to turn right on west lake mary boulevard yeah girl i know i'm just gonna turn her off <laughs> she's just possessed sometimes but supernatural love it but the new oculus quest 3 is coming out on october 10th so i am definitely gonna get a new one because I think mine is just old. It was Rob's. Rob got it for Christmas like three years ago, like during the pandemic. So 2020. And even with the updates with it updating, I think it's just old. You know, just like any gaming type system, you can't, you know, it just gets worn out after a while. So, you know, I think I knew it's an investment. I love Supernatural. Lake, Mary Boulevard. It's the only workout that I've loved. But yeah, this is where all the bougie rich people go. I remember the party, but that's Aliqua Lakes. That's like the super gated mansion community back here. So fancy. Very like Redondo Beach, like uh, Palos Verdes. Think Palos Verdes. Turn left on International Parkway. So that's like the Palos Verdes of Florida. It's like PV where all the rich people live. <laughs> like on the hill, but not a hill here, but it's kind of like reminds me of Palos Verdes since I'm a Torrance girl. 
you know, that's kind of the nicer homes and stuff. That's what exactly it reminds me of. It's pot like PV, like Paul's Rarities. Yep. Fun. Yeah, and I don't think I'm going to go to California next year because I've got three cruises planned already, possibly a fourth. So, yeah, it was like D23 or a cruise, and I'm not going to give up a cruise again. So I'm going to have to just hang out and listen to... Um, you know, Nick is gonna go, Mr. In Disney King is gonna feet. go, I'm sure. Use the left lane to turn left. So I'm just going to uh watch D23 on the app, like watch the panels like everybody else, and then I don't have to worry about it because I don't have to worry about it. Like, I don't, you know, I don't want to waste my time like last time. Turn left on International Parkway. Girl, I thought I turned you off. Lord. Okay. Sorry. So, I'm get, probably not going to make it to Cali. And I was trying to get everybody to go on a Disneyland trip maybe next year. But then I was like, oh, with the price and hotel and flights and all of that. Like, that's the price. So this is what happens when you cruise so much that you compare everything to how much everything would be on a cruise. And if it's, like, way more expensive and you're like, well, I could have... That's seven days on a cruise, you know? And that includes all the food. And I'm like... Yeah, I mean, California is pricey. It really is every time we go because it's different. You got to get, you know, plane fares. You got to get the Uber. You got to get the food. Thankfully, we don't have to pay for a park. But if, if you're a cast member, at least we can use our, our, our main gates, but still, or comps. But still, it's different because we're flying and nobody's like, oh, I don't want to spend that. You know, I'm like, so, guess no California next year. Maybe a different, maybe the year after. 2025's got room in it. So, because we were trying to price out the hotels, the flights, all of that, even with the free admission, every cycle could go on a cruise for that. So, I'm like, okay. That's just the, that, I'm like, all right, well then, we don't do that. But I still want to do, like, Horror Nights in Hollywood one year. I definitely want to go there and go do Oogie Boogie Bash again and things like that. That was a lot of fun, you know. But I'm doing, I still have two Mickeys, not so scary. I haven't even gone this year because I keep moving my ticket. In 2.2 miles, turn right on H East Thomas Jr. Parkway. I'm going on the 20, uh, October 13th, and then I'm going again on the 31st Halloween night. So that was expensive. But two tickets alone was like $500 or close to $500. It was crazy. That's just crazy to me, y'all, for two nights. At Magic Kingdom for a couple of hours. It's insane. But we're doing it. We're doing it. Um, and then we've got the very first um, Christmas party on the 9th. So we're doing opening night of the Christmas party. But you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to rain. It rains every year. Um, and then we're going again December 10th or something. Yeah. So we're going once in November, one in December. And then I still have to buy the Jollywood Nights ticket. I did sign up to work all of them aside from the ones when I'm on the cruise in December because we're gonna do I do want to do Jollywood one night because I'm gonna try to work them all it's gonna be awesome y'all gonna come visit me if you do Jollywood nights the bar is gonna be open that's what's gonna make it superior to Mickey's Very Merry it's more for adults because they have all new entertainment we're gonna have like the um, classic, you know, like vintage kind of Christmas at Tower of Terror. We're going to have brand new entertainment at the Frozen show, which is completely different. Going to be a new one. Um, Muppets. They're going to be a Muppet one. I'm sure it's going to be like Muppet Christmas. We're still going to have Sunset Seasons Greetings. It's going to be a brand new thing, a brand new after hours Christmas event in Hollywood. It's going to be awesome because it's new. You know, I'm so excited for it. And just like any after hours event, you know, you can come in at 7 and it goes to 1 in the morning. So, I'm usually there by 6.30. So, I work usually 6.30 to 1 for the after hours. So, just come find me. We'll hang out. We'll have a good, good time. <laughs> you know, it'll be cool. I want to work them all because I think they're going to be busy. It's a brand new event. But I do want to attend the last one. That's like December 20th, I believe, is the last one. Um, and then, yeah, because then I go on my cruise. December cruise is my last cruise of the year. And then it's only three months later and we go on our Ears of Emporium group cruise. I think three to four months between cruises is reasonable. 
you know that's when the post cruise depression like kicks in and you're like oh my gosh you know so I'm just excited um, gonna try to pack one suitcase we're gonna see <laughs> since it's a shorter cruise but we'll see we'll see never can ever take like one suitcase so I'm gonna try gonna try Jen's <laughs> gonna try <laughs> um, but it should be fun we're going just like Nassau Coco Cay because on the Indy and then in uh, December I'm sailing on Mariner so never been on Mariner either I think they're they they seem really cute because I know Peter's gone on both of them Reese has gone on Mariner too um the smaller ships are as long as there's a wind jammer like the Indy's the same it just doesn't have like the aqua theater you know because they used to be the largest cruise ships until oasis class came to be freedom class you know but they just don't have the butt they don't have the aqua theater and the zip line and stuff like that like the back end but they still have the promenade they have a, a laser tag they have the ice rink the laser tag they've got a full fully flushed out um we paid extra for the escape room the observatorium so we're doing that um they have the surf simulator the flow rider which lo uh, rob loves in 1000 feet rob, use the right he, two he, lanes he to loves turn right. it so we're doing that um yeah it has everything i mean the shows look good there's like a headliner i believe there's actually i was looking up old cruise compasses just to make sure like i'm telling the family what they have to bring for specialty nights like you know because they actually have a dress your best night on night two, even though it's a shorter cruise. Turn right on H. They just Thomas won't. Junior they Parkway. just won't have lobster night, but they're considering it dress your best is like your formal night. It's a formal and seventies night on the second night. They also have a tropical night. First night is just resort. First and last night is just resort casual. Then they have dress your best, and then they have a tropical slash seventies night, which is perfect because it's always usually in the formal night anyway. But it's on tropical night. And um, tropical night, half a mile. Ooh, I get Turn one. left on Reinhardt Road. Yeah, tropical night and Seventies night are in the same night. So I was looking at that for the indie. That way, they all know what to bring. Like bring a Hawaiian shirt or dress your best. Or Rob never really gets dressed up like super bougie. You know, I make him do it on the seven day cruises because you know it's a longer cruise. We gotta have the one night we all look cute, so we can take pictures and we look cute together in our cute little button-ups or suits or whatever you guys you know wear what you can get as bougie or not as bougie as you want rob wants to live in these all the time like he just wants to live in rash guards he has nice rash guards but you know on the wonder i didn't bring anything for formal nights um you know in the main dining room he didn't so it's at 1000 feet use the left two lanes to turn left But we'll do main dining room every night. But those are the theme nights. So always just look at old cruise compasses because that's just the best way to do it, honestly. I've got to check out Mariner as well because I'm sure it's similar, similar format. But I will look at those cruise compasses closer to cruise time in December. I always try to find the most recent Turn left cruise, on Reinhardt yeah. Road. My lord. I, tur I turned you off. I turned off the volume. It said sound off and she's still on. Oh yeah, yeah. They don't get you. Don't get the free lobster. Although this last cruise on the Wonder, on Lobster Night, I got four. <laughs> My server gave me four. We had a Filipino server. Finally, got four. He gave me four lobster. I ate them all. Every last drop. Cause Rob don't eat his lobster. He just kept bringing me lobster. I'm like, don't threaten me with a good time. I'm literally gonna eat them all because I will. <laughs> I did. So he gave me four lobsters for free. <laughs> yeah, because I ordered one and I made Rob order one plus his second dinner because he's not going to eat the lobster. He gave it to me. And then he saw that. He just kept bringing me lobster. I'm like, I love you. You're the best. He hooked me up. Man, that dude was awesome. Yeah, my sir. Like, Wonder twice this year was just a blessing. I was so, I just love her. Wonder really is my favorite ship. Although, you know, Oasis will always have a special place in, in my 1. heart. In 1.6 miles, turn right. Because that was like our group cruise. It was amazing. It was so much fun. So they're doing, yeah, I wish I could have gone on the Odyssey. But I do want to do a quantum ship maybe in 2025. There's none in 2024, I looked. They're all in L.A. or not here. 
So, but I do want to do the quantum class for Rob because he loves like there's that VR. Remember the void when we had that void virtual reality experience at Disney Springs, the whole Star Wars thing? They have one on the ship. So the quantum ships have that. It's kind of like the void VR fully, like not just the headset, like the backpack. It's just like the void when we had it at Disney. So they have one on the ship. They got the bumper cars. They got like Playmakers is inside the sports complex, which is all like air condition like it's it's awesome it's like a video game very techy type of ship that has a lot of games video games like walkthrough video games the vr one so rob would love that because it's just like perfect like sports and video game type ship and the north star is not free anymore they're charging apparently it used to be free but apparently now it's 19 dollars for 16 minutes that's what they were telling me peter and reese were telling me it used to be free but i'm like i knew it was a matter of time they were going to start charging it's kind of like the iFly, and that one has the iFly too the the simulator for the you know the skydiving simulator we have those in orlando obviously but on a ship that's really cool the iFly one so i want to do quantum but on icon we're gonna have like the crown and anchor like the ropes course that drops and it like zips line you oh i can't wait to do that the anchor the it's called like the the crown it's the crown yeah it's like the little ropes course on the royal caribbean sign we're sailing icon in september so next year we have a group cruise in march then i don't have anything again till september um but that's the icon. I don't even know what to do. I'm not even getting off the dang shit. I'm not. St. Thomas again. I think I'm going to get off in St. Kitts just because I haven't been there. But other than that, not getting off the ship. Because it's so big. I don't know if I can see it all in one week. Not going to be enough time. Um, and we're staying right by uh, on the um, seventh floor. Right by the play area. It might be loud because it's like close to the kids feet. area. Turn right. But I'm excited for that. I am so excited for Icon. I can't even know what I'm going to do with myself. I'm going to be like, I don't know. I'm, I just might cry. Oh, this is some shoot. Wrong one. Next one. That's Best Buy, Jen. So confusing. All right, there we go. And then we didn't. We were just driving along, making all the stops. So Rob was just checking on us. That's all. Yes, it was my first one in a long time. Like, a real cruise. Not the little Bahama Paradise ones. Those don't count. All right. You good? I should be back. Bye-bye. Sorry, he, like... This is why I'm on this app. I'm always on Streamlabs because if I, he calls me, ooh, 51 miles to the gallon. Driving slow. Ooh. <laughs> Look at us getting the good, good miles. Hang on, y'all. He called me. He was just checking up on us to make sure. Hang on. Oh, dear. One moment. Ooh. Ooh. Stay. Hang on. I get the cords all tangled. Yeah, I was just calling us to make sure we didn't get lost in the dust. It's like, I'm like, no, I had three stops today. And I go to Target, to Costco, and now Walmart. Okay. We went to the super Walmart. The big one. All right. Jet, jet, jet. Keys are in the car. We're good. All right, let's roll. Plus, mm -mm. it like disconnects from the car. It's just every time we get in and out of the car, it disconnects. It's not like it connects to the car, so you can't hear me for a minute. We. All right. We're going to leave the star bay in there. We don't need the star bay. As it is, I'm just going to leave the rest of it. I'll drink it tomorrow. <laughs> Put it back in the fridge. Uh, I'm going to be able to sleep. I got to throw a load of laundry in for costumes. I got one set clean for tomorrow. No worries. 
going to the big Walmart. It's so nice at night. It's a little cooler, a little drier. I'm ready for winter weather. Tired of all the heat, man, and the rain. directories now. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Oh my god. This is my downfall. Oh, where are they? They're not even here. The nerds. The nerds are my downfall, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. Why she gained so much weight, eating too much sugar. Uh, no, we're good. We don't need a drink. We're gonna go get what we need to get. <laughs> go get some. I need some watermelon. Watermelon. The pineapple I gotta cut up. Oh, oh Lord. What is the watermelon? Maybe it's this side. Nope. Oh. Do we not have watermelon? Is this it? Is that all we got? I like the watermelon spears, but it's fine. Oh, that's what happens at night, though. It's all picked over. I just need to get a watermelon and slice it myself. Ooh, tahine. All right, we're going to go to the cleaning supplies. We need the cleaning stuff, the dish soap, um, the Glade stuff. Um, I do, I do, I, oh, the fruit store, we don't have a fruit store, um, there's like a Spanish market by me, we have a Spanish market across the street that usually produces a little cheaper there, um, I didn't think to go there, but it's called the fruit and veggie market, but it's more like a Spanish market too, but they do, I need juice, oh, coffee, yes. Cozy campfire. No, it's in the car section. I'll have to go over there. That stuff in the car section too. I gotta go to the little streamers right now. Um, uh, it's too cold. Now it's freezing in here. Uh, where, oh, where are the? That's the earwicks. Where's the glade? This will try the pumpkin spice. Okay, let me know. I refreshed. Sorry, I didn't even see that till now. Is it back? Let me know. Okay, perfect. Just let me know. I think every time we come in and out of places, I just had a refresh. So, sorry. I just looked down and read it now. My bad. Sorry about that. I got plenty of Kerrygold. Kerrygold butter. That's what we use. It's the good stuff. Okay, let me 
It is cheaper here than Target. These are unsweetened, no sugar. Still needing the iced coffee though. Oh no, our Walmarts aren't 24 hours. They're open till 11. Sorry guys, yeah. I just, I'll refresh. I didn't look down till now, my bad. I, I think every time we go in and out of places, we just get a refresh. Refresh. All right. We got that, that, that. We got this, the toilet bowl thingy. We're gonna go to the little streamer's room down there. I'm gonna put you in the backpack just for a second because it's freezing in here. It goes from hot a target to freezing in here. I got puppy. I did get all the puppy pads already. Um, Oh, they don't have it in Canada. I know your Target's closed down too. Yeah, Lindsay's here now permanently. So our Canadian is now Floridian permanently. Well, she's gonna go home and visit, but she's here now. I'm so excited. It's exciting. We celebrated her finally moving to America permanently. Look at all the Sharpies, fun. Hmm, guess someone's got the craft department. Hmm. Fun. Coolers. Cloth, they even have like, if you wanna make ears, these little quarters are perfect, little remnants. When you used to make a lot of ears. Uh, where is the little streamer, Jean? It's back here somewhere. Paint taco. Oh, camping. I have one of these for my little hurricane stove. Somebody was asking me the other day, they didn't believe that we sold um, sporting goods in Walmart um, by the fishing section. They're like, You sell guns at Walmart? Yeah, they do. See? We're in the South, people. <laughs> was it Reese? Reese didn't believe me that we sell bullets and knives. It's sporting goods, just rifles, obviously. And there's ammo right there. Back when ammo was cheap, but I have a, some of those, the Winchesters ones. I mean, ammo is not cheap anymore. It's like 50 cents around now, but I used to buy them from here when it was, we were gonna go practice at the range when I used to do that a lot more, but it's right in the fishing stuff. They do sell rifles and things. So only in America, <laughs> only in the South. Um, yeah, that's what we do, but just rifles. Yeah, I bought a snorkel kit that I'm going to bring with me for, I bought it on Amazon. It's on my Amazon store. The one I got from Amazon worked well. I used it in Mexico. I used it in Mexico to do the cenotes. I went um, snorkeling. Plus, it's another way for you to save money. Instead of paying to go snorkel, bring your own. Throw it in your suitcase. Go in it. it comes with the flippers, the tube, and the. I have the ones that's glass. It was great. Like, I used it in Mexico. Rob used his in Mexico. And, yeah. Oh, Velcro rulers. Is this, this one out of a bathroom? No. I think the bathroom's in the front. Okay. Weird. Usually there's one in the back, one in the front. But all the camping stuff, see, they have, like, rifle holders. There's a big metal box. But, yeah. Most of the Walmarts in the South do that. Sorry. I'm going to go to the car section. Spray paint. Can I spray paint anything? Paint. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I got the paper plates, girl. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Um, all right. We got to get the car smelly stuff. I have a little... This is a whole roll of microfiber towels. Wow. Huh, nice. Oh, here they are. 
See, in the section over here, I told you they got more smelly stuff for your car in the car section, not just in the glade section. Um, oh, there it is, the old spice ones. Oh, deep sea. They got timber, Fuji, deep sea, and I just get the regular flavor. It smells like mahogany teak wood. That's the closest thing I got. So I put that in the car. Ooh. What does deep sea smell like? Scratch and sniff. Actually, that smells good. All right. Evening woods. They've got all the dang flavors. That actually smells pretty good. All right. I like that mahogany teak would smell. <laughs> you know, it smells like the man cologne. Mm. Bob Ross. Hilarious. They get all the different smelly stuff for your car. It's kind of crazy. But the car section has way more. Yankee Candle, pick a flavor, any flavor. I have the room spray from Bath & Body Works that I have in there. I need the leather cleaner and I need more of my Meguiars. Meguiars. Nope, over here, over here. I gotta vacuum my car too. Do, 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 do. the best stuff to clean your car is the Meguiar's. This is the matte finish. You wipe it off with this and then you get the shiny, shiny stuff. This is the shiny stuff that makes your um, stuff shiny. And then we got the leather cleaner. Although the Lexol, Lexol ones are the best. I do not know if they have the Lexol here, but the Meguiar's leave that next to your um if you have a little black trash can like behind me like in the back seat like where that console is behind my console and then on the pockets i have this on either side so just grab it if you get little crumbs and things like that the mcguire's are the best so you just use this to clean it up first cleans it up matte finish and then this is like the glossy ones and you once it's clean you do that and that way it's all shiny and pretty especially in florida man it is ugh. It gets really, really yucky quickly. See, they got the glass cleaner, but it dries out really fast. That's why I just do the, I have one of these in my trunk, but maybe I'll try one of these. I'll use the wipes really quick. So I got to clean the inside of my car too. And then I have the leather. I'll try the Meguiar's since I like all the Meguiar's, Meguiar's. McGuire's products. I don't know if it's Mc, Mc, I think it's McGuire's. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but those I just keep. I have one of those I got from Amazon and then I have pockets in them and then I put those in the back seat and that way they're perfect. That way I keep my car clean, especially if she's new. I'm trying to keep her fresh and clean, clean. I'm gonna, so yep, yeah, needed all my car cleaning stuff. I need to order a new trash can because I had that trash can for my old car. Like, it's over a year old. It's, like, falling apart. I'm just trying to, like, destroy it till I, before I order another one. Um, but they're, they're great because it not only is there a trash can. I use one of those small, you know, the Disney reusable bags. I had one that had spilled something on inside of it. So, I use that. It's reusable. I don't have to keep getting new plastic to go in the trash can so i use that and it fits perfectly in one of those extra large car trash cans and then the pockets you could store these in all of the pockets it's perfect yeah i ordered one from like china from like aliexpress because it's the same stuff that you get from amazon it's just gonna take a little longer for the back of my car for my trunk so like it can protect the carpet back there uh, yeah kind of like that but the ones from amazon are bigger and i put them like right next to my console not behind the seat and mine has pockets in it so you could it's like the extra large one i've had it for since my other car so i've had it probably for two years probably needs to be replaced because it's trashed but i was just trying to still works it just looks worn out so I'd probably order a new one but i like the ones with the pockets i was gonna get one in pink but i was afraid like it's gonna get stained because it's a trash can but 
I don't know. I might order the pink one anyway. Who knows? The black blends into the interior more, you know? Yeah, see, they have a small one. But they don't have... Yeah, they don't have that big one here. Like, they just have the little trash bags. The Amazon ones are... Or I wish they had the one with the pockets, though. Because that would be better. Yeah, it's just a hanging one. Okie dokie. Something smells like it's on fire. Yeah, it's usually over there. Oh, hey, girl. Yeah. I am here this weekend oh yeah that's awesome yeah no i am here i'm working all three days tuesday wednesday thursday so this week i'm at sunshine all three days tomorrow wednesday thursday so you know where to find me if you need me um they were out of the brown last time did they restock they never restock literally i had to go to ulta for one thing I don't even have any. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, they don't have it. The the fat oil, I love the fat oil. Yeah, they're out of the brown one. They don't have any. Wow. Sold out. Yeah, girl, I'll be here. I'm, I'm watching Taylor Swift on the 14th. Um, we bought tickets to the to the movie. You know, since we couldn't get the tickets to Miami show. Boo. Um, <laughs> we're going to go watch Taylor Swift in the theaters. We're going to get dressed up and everything. I need to, like, order some friendship rice. Because everybody's going to treat it like a concert, you know? Like, they're going to get dressed up like the concert, and why not? Because that's probably the best. But the Eras Tour on the 14th, we're going to go watch it. We're going to get dressed up. <laughs> I'm thinking doing Fearless or, like, Lover Era. I'm not sure yet, but I'll think about it. Yeah, girl, I am around. I'm usually off on the weekend. So, I am Revolution Casper Collection. Ooh, okay, cute. I haven't watched Casper this season. I am trying to find... Maybe they have... They don't have the blonde. The color is always the wrong one. makes it look really um no they don't have it it i can't get to my hair lady till friday <laughs> so i'm like uh there's it's it's that but it's a different kind It's like light to medium blonde. No, this is the one that's really yellow. It makes my hair look really yellow. But it's like this platinum one, but it goes from like dark to blonde. I think that's what it says. Like it covers up the dark roots. But it's not the right kind. I don't know if I got that one at CVS. I'm not sure. Oh, love it. Love the color. I can't wait to get this hair done. Oh my lord. I haven't got my hair done since before my cruise. That was July. June, then end of June, beginning of July. It's been a minute, so it's time. But they don't have that color. It's this kind, but it's the dark to light root cover-up. It's kind of like this, but it's not this one. This is the one that turns your hair super yellow. I have that one. Wrong color. Mm, I'll have to check CVS. I don't know where I found that one. Because that's the only one that works well. Actually, like, covers up your roots for the meantime. 
Yes, girl. Yeah, I'm not going to the party. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I'm going to the party on the 13th. Yeah, it's terrible. Like, we're not even going to talk about these roots. But Friday, we're going to get them done. Yeah, look at all the different colors going on in there. Ooh, so it needs to get did. Hey, Sean, how are you? Looks like you guys had fun in California. So jelly. Yeah, I'm not doing the party till the 13th on the 31st. So that's the Mickey's not so scary that I, I kept pushing mine. I kind of having to change and, and like change the price. Because it's more expensive. But I'm going to go with Scott and Vicky when they come. So I'm doing Mickey's. Yeah, maybe I'll see you again before the party. For sure. Um... Where are the Velcro? Okay, here's the voluminous curls, but I just want the, don't they have bigger ones than this, you guys? Or, am I wrong? Or don't they come bigger? Isn't there a bigger? Or do I have to buy this to get the bigger one? I'm trying to do that TikTok um, blowout voluminous hack. So I just need the big pink ones. So I have to buy them all to get the big ones? Or do you, can you buy just the big ones from Amazon? Somebody tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I just need the Velcro. I'm going to try it. It can't hurt. Mm. Right? Because that's the only Velcro rollers to have here. I don't know. Yeah, the root touch is great. I can't color. No, I'm, I'm not going to add color to it because that's like actually color your hair. Um, my hair lady will kill me if I use bottle. Um, I bought the Wow one, the expensive one. It was $35. Did nothing for my hair. Does not even cover it. Um, yeah, I'm trying to find the one that goes. It's this brand, but it says dark to blonde that's what it says like it covers up like that's what i have on now it's like the only one that works the other one makes it too yellow <laughs> yeah i can't actually color my roots like she would murder me if i did that so i can only do the spray like just to look like halfway decent yeah these are all too dark anyway i waited too long <laughs> i'm always like oh the struggle but that's okay you i, I can't go until friday because i work tuesday wednesday thursday so i can't really go until friday because it takes hours in the salon to get this hair the right shade oh lord yeah they don't have it it's like a dark to light but it is l'oreal i tried this one they don't have like any blonde shades anyway um yeah, because these are actual color. I'm like, she'll kill me if I put any box dye in there. She will murder me. Let's not. <laughs> Let's just, the spray is as good as it gets. Yeah, they don't have the light blonde. They don't, girl. Yeah, she's putting out in the theater. Um, I went and bought the tickets. It's like $25 per person. So it looks fun. So, yeah, I'm going to try the voluminous curls because, okay, I know, TikTok, maybe do it again. But you just use the big ones. So what you do, I'm going to try it out tonight because I've been doing the heatless curls. Because it's not like I didn't put my hair in a um, ponytail or anything at work. I just use that. Tried those too curly, but there's a hack where you just curl your hair and then put them in these and clip them in there. Um all night but then it looks like a blowout it looks really nice it's like a 90s blowout think cindy crawford you know so that looked like a hack that i could actually it looks like it's gonna work so i'm gonna try it and then i have a ton yeah i do have those little clips to lock them in so i already have those all right i'm gonna try them out because instead of like more curls like like this it's more like a blowout like a speck of bangs look so weird so it, it'll give it more voluminous look so i'm going with that yeah they don't have the light blonde sometimes they make you go spend more money and go to oh the mighty patches work those do work you're getting like a blemish those things work but you can get TJ Maxx and like Marshalls have a bunch of those too, like for cheap. All right, I need that color. Don't know where to get that color. Well, what you gonna do? I don't think we have a choice. They don't, that's it for the spray. They don't have any, that's why sometimes you have to go to Walmart, Walgreens or 
CVS because they don't have the right shade. Hmm. Yeah, or it's like a lot of people have blonde hair, so they like don't have it. Okay. We got watermelon. We got the car stuff. We got the Stardies. We got the glass cleaner, interior cleaner, curlers. We need new wipes for the car, leather wipes, toilet bowl wipes, Glade. I think that was on the list. We're staying on our list. We're being so, so good right now. Uh, oh, the jumbo stick. Oh, I need a smaller nude one. Let me go back to the NYX thing really quick. I lost my nude eyeliner see even the lip liner i use the sand beige they don't have it at walmart you have to only get it at walgreens like it's the um the ones that you don't have to sharpen that's my favorite lip liner that's one i always have on is the sand beige it is only at walgreens because it's a just a rolling lip liner you have to sharpen it yeah, they don't even have that kind here. It's weird. Like, they don't carry the whole line, you know? Like, they make you go to... Because <laughs> it's also another one of those you don't have to, like, sharpen. It's just a... Like, you just roll it and... You know, for like, the tight line for in here. Like, just the nude. Uh, lo oh, best blush dupe. If you're looking for the... REM Beauty, like the Ariana one, like, or, yeah, the Selena <laughs> dupes. These are great. I have the Cosmo. I have the Sangria. I have the Mai Tai. These are good dupes, and they're four ninety eight. I need to buy another Sangria, actually, for the Cosmo. Ooh. I think the Sangria is better, but I'm almost out of the Sangria. These are $5, and they're, like, the same uh, applicator. These work really well. I use them for work almost done with the sangria but not they last a while so i sometimes mix them but these are great dupes for the Oop. that blush if you don't want it has the puffy like big fat applicator on it look cream blush so good yeah the profusion is shockingly good actually they got liquid bronzer. Oh, it's like a, I haven't tried this. This is going to be like a Charlotte Tilbury dupe again. And they've got, see, it's all or in an RM beauty too. They're trying to do the, the same thing, the liquid highlight. They got dupes for same thing because it's an applicator, doe foot applicator. They got dupes for all the high end. They even have a dupe of this Milani one for the Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury um, pillow talk can't remember the color but they do have petal peony no secret one of these is a dupe i saw it on uh, glamzilla covered it like they have the exact same shade i use the medium pillow talk no that not the original because it's um too light for me but profusion blushes don't sleep on this cheap and it works well really really well uh, do they have a lip or an eyeliner? A nude eyeliner. Got eyebrow stuff too. It's a pomade and a brow pen. I'm gonna try other ones. I always use the NYX skinny pencil. That's like the Anastasia by Ray Hills dupe. But I've used it for years. There's a lot of good stuff in the drugstore. Like you don't need to be sleeping on it, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to go to Walgreens because I like the retractable one, the ones that you don't have to sharpen. No worries. Like, less things I have to sharpen, the better. Mm, okay, perfect. I think we're good here. Yeah, Walgreens is expensive, a little bit more expensive, but sometimes, because it's the retractable NYX is the one I need. Um, it's the retractable pencils that have the lid on it. But, yeah, because you don't have to sharpen them. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, but these I use. I use the ash brown. That's pretty much what I use. It's a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's so, so good. I have the white jumbo because white, the milk is like a staple. I think 2016. But it's a little fat to do on your tight line. So I usually, it's not as harsh to do the nude. Like the, you know, the, the skin colored one as to put in your tight line. So it's not, you know, makes your eyes bigger, eyes brighter. But it's, the white is just a little white, a little stark sometimes. It's a little mm, too much, <laughs> you know. All right, I think we're good. We're not eating any of the processed food. So we're walking out. Surprisingly, I'm not hungry. I had my eggy bites today. That's all I've eaten. And maybe I'll just drink coconut water and fast. That's it. One meal's good. I mean, if I'm not hungry, why well, feed my face? You know? All right. We need, oh, that's what we were looking for, y'all. We were looking. Oh, these are how cute Halloween ones. Look how cute. I put a spell on you. Prayer candles. A lot of cute. Oh, it's pink. I'm going to be at Disney on Halloween. We'll be at Magic Kingdom. That makes you sound so scary. All right. We need the little mason jar for the molasses. And the honey. So we need little baby mason jars or something. I love this. A little pumpkin. Um, we need that for the molasses and the honey so I can carry it with me. But they would have it here. If they had like a mini mason jar or something small, it would be here. Oh my god, it smells so good. Ooh, pumpkin spice and all the things. Nice. So cute. Look at all the candles. I'll be here for like 20 years. Um, all right, let's look for a mini mason jar. Because the little Tupperware thing that I put the molasses, uh, the ma maple syrup in, just it's spilling. That's why I put a sandwich bag around it because I knew it was gonna just not be airtight. I need a baby mason jar, little baby mason jar. All right, it'll be around here. Tortillas, mugs, oh, the burn book, oh my god, look at the Mean Girls mug, no ma'am, she doesn't even go here, <laughs> look at the Stranger Things mug, oh my gosh, it's amazing, oh, how cute, espresso mugs, yes, mm. Stranger Things, lots of mugs, Okay, yep, mini shot cups, but that's not it. I need a tiny, 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 tiny mason jar with a lid on it. Okay, we'll keep looking. Hmm. I know they would have it here. Mini corn holders. Hmm. Oh, mm -mm. meal mugs, margarita glass, champagne flute. It would be here if it was. Oh, that circle thing did not work. Rob was like, it's trash. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Many mason jars. Where are you? Cord keeper. No. Mm -hmm. No, not here either. Just pots and pans. Where are the, like the canning stuff? You know, it'll be there. Um, it's blankies. Sorry. Let me see. Oh, look how cute. You can wear that to Mickey's Not So Scary. Look, they got Nightmare Before Christmas stuff in here. Baby Yoda. Cute. I can wear that for Mickey's not so scary. Adorable. Seven bucks. Look at all the cute Mickey's not so scary stuff. There's a lot. Mm. Ah, right here, y'all. I see the mason jars. Quilted crystal jars. 
lids. Oh, what are these? Oh, this is perfect. Okay. Mini jars. That might work, y'all. That might work. It doesn't have a handle, but it might work. Yep. I think that's it. That's gonna work. Oh, no, I'm not tired. I'm not tired. Yeah, I got the egg bites. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, it kicked me out of YouTube. I had to, like, re-log in. Tight line is right underneath here when you do the this line. That's the tight lining. So, I found it. There was only one set left, but look, they have four mini jars. Sorry, guys. I had to re like, YouTube kicked me out. It made me log. I knew it was going to do that because we were going for a while. Like, it made me authenticate the google login youtube login but yeah that looks like the only like all the mason jars here oh mean me too girl i can quote mean girls like like she doesn't even go here <laughs> like when they were doing the trust falls or they were talking about yep these are the only ones but look i think this will work mini jars but yeah i love i love me i just watched it the other night actually but i do need to watch casper and then hocus pocus again one more time you know it's that time of year um sorry just cuts off in here but no i am a power shopper baby power shopper she is good to go plus i got the whole work week to go oh they have these two but i think that'll be too big i think this will be good because then i can give two to rob and two to me i can do honey in one and then the maple syrup on the other and that'll work i can put it in his lunch box and i gotta start carrying my lunch box because that's, that's, that's our life these days. These might work too. You know, for the molasses. But I think those with the lid will work good for this. Because it's just for the molasses. Still going, Jason. Going hard. <laughs> Salt and pepper. Oh, oh, oh no. Those have, I was going to say these are perfect. But they have... Oh. Hang on. I'm wondering if these lids will work on there. Sorry. Those lids. They have copper lids, but I don't need holes on them. I think these are kind of the same. They just don't have the handles. I like these because they have the handles. Um, 11. Exactly. No, same. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do a ton more Horror Nights I have till the end. So we're going to do a ton more Horror Nights. I just didn't go this weekend. Um, Rob had a funeral for one of the doctors he works with. He was, so he had a funeral and then he had to, you know, so we didn't go this weekend. But we should have gone, you know. Um, I can probably go Thursday night after work. And then Friday I could go also. I still have like the whole season for Horror Nights. But so Mickey's not so scary. I'm doing October 13th, October 31st. So I have two of those. Yeah, they were like the most expensive. Because some people are coming. So I'm going to Mickey's not so scary on the 13th. And then the 31st. And then the rest of the time we're going to do more Horror Nights of course. Why not? Um, yeah, we just didn't go this weekend. Because Rob had a bunch of stuff going on. And. Like with work, he had to work like a Friday and then go to the funeral. One of the doctors who was very well loved by everybody had a, they had, a, they had a funeral to go to. So, you know, help cover work and everything. So we didn't do that this weekend, but I needed to get caught up also because I'm starting animal. I'm doing a animal style diet. Started today, late last night. So I am just, I went to buy basics today, but definitely going to do more horror nights. We usually go Friday or like Sunday whenever, Thursday during the week, but we go late. We don't go at five, we don't stay and scream. We've been going later and it's awesome because we can knock out like four houses in the last hour. Uh, going later, because just with all the rain and crazy weather and everything, that we've been doing better actually going later. Oh, cute. Um, it's just been better, like, you know, for us, because it's not as hot, not as busy. 
and we can just like power it through. Look at all the onesies, how cute. Oh, it's petals. But definitely gonna do more horror nights for sure. Animal, yeah, mostly beef actually, grass fed, grass finished. Animals all beef. Like beef, you could do beef, chicken, pork. Mainly beef, actually. Beef should be it primarily. Because you can't really grass feed all pigs and chickens unless they're like pasture raised. Like they eat grain. You know, you want grass fed. I'm trying to go like, depending on the level of your cleanliness, how deep do you want to go. But definitely mostly beef. Absolutely. Oh, hocus pocus. Out of candy. How cute. Um, yeah. It's pretty easy. You eat meat and vegetable, meat and um, meat. And <laughs> you're eating meat, and you're eating butter and cream and raw milk, and you're eating. Oh my gosh, how cute! Um, fruit. So it makes it easy. Fairly a lot of nightmare before Christmas stuff. Fairly easy. Oh my god, the Christmas stuff is right here, y'all. Like we're we're about to slide it on in. Like, psh, are we done with Halloween? Boom, Christmas stockings. I mean, <laughs> wow. Christmas stuff is out. As we saw at Costco, Christmas stuff is out. The Christmas stuff is out at Walmart, right behind the Halloween stuff. We are ready. I mean, even Disney releases their Christmas stuff like October 1st, like today. It's already out. Ooh, pink Christmas, you say? I gotta find all my pink Christmas stuff I bought last year. The little pink Christmas tree thing that we bought at Target. How cute. But yes, I have two more uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween parties to go to. And then, of course, the rest of Horror Nights. So the end of the end of the season, November 4th, I'm going to try to go more. It's just because of the funeral. We didn't couldn't go this weekend. But that's all right. We're going to be back out there. Back out there. Yeah, exactly. It's a protein. Exactly. Pretty much all I eat is the protein. Oh. Let's see. Wait, there's like costume pieces. You know, the perpetual cosplayer in me. Fairy tiara. You never know. You could add it to a costume. I'm a mouse. Duh. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, Halloween deer kit. They got tights and partial costume pieces too. Deer antlers. Cool. Oh, a little dragon. Oh, that would be a cute sun summoner necklace, you guys. For my Alina Starkov um, cosplay. Oh, I found my black. Oh, they got earrings too. Are you kidding? They got sun summoner earrings, y'all. You could add that to my Alina cosplay. And that is really cute. And then they have the earrings too. Well, those would be like getting tangled up in my hair. That would be cute. I was looking for like a sun summoner necklace. That's kind of cool. And then look, they even have a little crown, but I have that sun summoner one. That, but that could work as another sun summoner, Sancta Alina. That might work too. Because I have the one that I have that's got the big crown, you know? Oh, awesome, Heather. That's amazing. Yes, remember we got that, girl. But this might be good for a sun summoner necklace. Oh, I found the black one, by the way. Remember we couldn't find the black kefta? Because I had the blue kefta and the black kefta because it was going to go more up. Oh. Wait, there's more. Is this for your hair? Oh, it's like a hair piece. That is cool. Mm -hmm. Dragon. See, little accessories for your cosplay. You never know what you're going to find. That's pretty cool, though. I think that might work for my cosplay because I'm going to go dark Lena like go you know like Ben Barnes because I have the dark kefta like when they had the matching black keftas from Shadow and Bone I haven't worn my black kefta yet 
so perfect I found my Winnie costume yesterday I was cackling I was like oh gosh what do they have these are cheap you guys there's a deer there's a pirate I'm going as Barbie I already have the Barbie dress for Mickey's not so scary I know we're shocked and I know we're shocked it's pink very shocked here but these are pretty cheap. I mean, you can't go wrong. You just need, like, any Disney ones. Freak show, clown. It's like a crazy Snow White, but it's long. Which, because you want little baby costumes. Oh, there's a little Ursula one. I have my Winnie one from a couple years ago. I found it. Like, I was going through the costume closet the other night. Police officer... Little Red Riding Hood. Cornfield Cutie. Uh, I mean, these are cheap, but, you know, can't go wrong if you just need a pirate costume. Basic pirate costume. I could also wear my Star Wars costume, my pink Star Wars one. It depends how hot it's going to be because, you know, it's always hot. But I have the Barbie costume, and I was, or I was going to wear my pink Jedi costume since I only wore it to the Galactic Star Cruiser, and you guys really didn't get to see it out and about because i only wore it in the star cruiser but i love that thing it's so cute rob dyed it for me and everything it looks amazing you look so good you never know what little cosplay pieces we're gonna find in here for cheap so just gotta run around hey there d how are you that's awesome heather we're so proud of you hope to be there too girl hope to be there I'm trying to lose 10 pounds before the cruise. <laughs> We're going to see. Squid game. Yeah, but see the mask you can't wear at the parks. Oh, there you go. Glow things or H2O glow nights or even for Halloween. Look, eight bucks for 100 pieces of glow-in-the-dark neon stuff. Cute. Light up necklaces. I would say hit up the Walmart before you go to a Halloween party. I mean, literally. They had all that Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Liquid latex. Oh, I'm sure it's not professional grade, but they got liquid latex right there. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick to the Barbie. They got ears if you want elf ears, vampire. Oh, is it time to go? Yep. Oh. All right, get your life together, Jen. Dollar spot. I forgot. You got this, girl. So proud of you. You got this. You keep doing it. Keep on keeping on. I always say whenever any type of weight loss, you just got to trust the process. You know what I mean, girl? Trust the process. You just got to. I'm day one. <laughs> Today's my first day. Eat more candy. You know, Jen cannot eat any more candy. She is. This is how we got into the trouble in the first place. She ate too much candy. Those gummy nerds are the bane of my existence. They're too good. And I'm like, I can't stop. I'll eat the whole bag. That's the problem. Embroidery, erasers. These are cute. They got a lot of cute stuff on their dollar spot, man. Adorable. Oh, like if you want to, yeah. I just paid five dollars for a pump because i have all the different syrups can you even drink them now life is good oh my god that's funny uh, they got cuter stuff than target target was like picked over oh i like the little pumpkin board that's adorable that's cute i wish it was bigger I like that. You know, carnivore people always just eat on the the big tray. Because <laughs> you just throw your meat on there. Family here for the tailgate. Cute stuff. Oh, my Lord. Coffee. Mic oh, it's a pink microfiber cloth. Oh, no one pink. The rest are ugly colors. Okay. The horns boggle me. Pumpkins. Oh, these are nice and soft. 
Those are so cute. Those are cute fall stuff, though. Hmm? Look at you, Target. I mean, Walmart. <laughs> Like drawer organizers. That's cute. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff. Shocking. All right, let's close in the place down again. Do 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 do. Oh, shot glasses. All right. Think we found all the things we wanted walk away before we buy more stuff they're looking at me see they're mocking me you guys my addiction right here my favorite candy it's terrible it's terrible if you haven't tried it try it but it's addicting and then they have the blue ones too y'all i would just eat bags and bags of these i would walk away from the nerds they're so good they're my favorite candy above the sour skittles Cell doesn't do Apple Pay. Such a pain. You have to like find the actual card.
There we go. It was 116.04. Time to go, time to go. Yeah, Walmarts are open till 11. There's like a nail salon in here, but they're not that good in there. But, yeah. Alright. Good lord. Yeah, it was like, I think we spent 140. Is it raining? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, really? Oh, wow, it's raining. Um, which way did I go up? This way, I think. Oh no, I don't remember. Shoot, which way did we go? <laughs> oh yeah, right, right over there. Yeah, it was, Costco wasn't bad, it was 140, 50. I think 140, 50, and then Target wasn't that much. We only got a couple things at Target. I think it was like 20 bucks. And then this is kind of like my big grocery like shopping thing when I'm getting like staples that I don't normally buy all the time. Like we just needed to get it all redone. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I'm first starting this diet. Holy devil's lettuce. It is truly odiferous. I feel like I'm at Universal. Yeah, see, this is what we got from Costco. Look at our Costco haul. We got the egg bites, see, from Costco. <laughs> oh, holy cow, it is strong. I hadn't done a big grocery haul, like, literally in a hot minute. So, we needed to get it done. Where's the car stuff, though? Because that needs to... This stuff is the car stuff. We're going to put it in the front. It rained while we were in there, you guys. Put the car stuff in the car. Oh gosh, I just like got humid and nasty out. I'm so glad I didn't go wash my car today. I would have been pissed that it actually rained again. <laughs> it just rains nonstop. I mean. Hey guys. Oh, I'm always out late. I'm a vampire. You know me. Vampirina over here. She does not go out during the day. Daytime hurts me physically. <laughs> she who works nights has to stay working nights. Like, be out at night. I am not a morning person. All right. I love the removable pop socket because it just does well. Oh, I made my own... Oh, it's on the other bag. I made my own little boo pop socket. I used one of the stickers that they had on sale. Um, like the big sticker sheet. I bought the decal sheet and then I uh, modge podged it and used it and it was good. Is that my Costco receipt is in here? I don't know. I gotta scan all these receipts when I get home to get my credit on uh 
the Fetch app. Where is the Costco receipt, y'all? Oh, I think I put it in my wallet. Let me double check. Oh, I need to use up these Disney coupons, too, y'all. They expired this week. The free snack holiday coupons expire. Oh, shoot. They're expired. <laughs> the new ones already came, so... Well, these are, again, trash. We didn't use them again. We got all the 50, 40, and 30% off coupons. Every year we go through this where we don't go through all of our coupons. Not even the snack coupons. Because it's like pulling teeth to get my friends into the park. Nobody wants to come to the park these days. I mean, can you blame them? You know, it's just a few of us who are still working for Disney these days, so... We are, there's only three of us that work for Disney now, so the rest have gone to the dark side now. The rest have gone to Universal, and can you blame them? Universal's paying the money right now, so that's where we go. Universal loves to steal Disney people, but I always say go where the work conditions are better, and, you know, you're making more money. Why not? It's all about that work. Where's my Costco receipt? I don't know where it went. I thought I hid it back here. I'm trying to make sure I have all my receipts because I'm going to scan them all into the app when I get home. I don't know where I put it. I put it in here somewhere. All right. Okay. Don't know where it went. Mm. I love that Sol de Janeiro. This is the, the good stuff right there. Nope. All right, we're going to hang the keys in the key here. Got the car stuff to clean the car. And then I also just recharge. I'm going to keep this in here because this is our... Very short streaming cord, but I gotta find the six foot because I did buy a six foot. So I got one of these also to charge the little charger. Now that we don't use lightning, but this one takes lightning or micro USB to charge. So I also have a car phone charging thing Rob uses, but that way I can charge the thing while I drive home. My Costco receipt one, but I remember it's 140 50. I don't know where I put it. I'll find it though. So I will find it and then we don't have to worry about this container anymore for the maple syrup. But bring that into the house. All right, we're just gonna drive on home and then I gotta get ready for work tomorrow. I work at three, so I don't have to work that early because I, I work night, so you know. I am we close the moon roof, the panel, all the way, all the way. I can't wait till it's winter till I can open it. That way I can be like, making my way downtown, <laughs> you know, like driving with the good weather. But yeah, uh, I love working night. You're a dude who loves shopping. Well, that's good. Same. Well, you got to do errands. If you work nights, you have to... Okay, you have to wait, like you have to stay working when you work, you know what I mean? Because it's just, you're going to throw you off working days, working nights, working days, working nights, like it's havoc for your body. So I stay on a night schedule even on my, um, on my days off because it's just better. Plus, I don't like running errands. It, during the day, it's hot, you know, and if you go at night, it's just easier. Easier, easier. Yeah, nighttime, it's cooler out, less people. Walmart's open till 11. Targets are open till 10. Public stays open till 10. So that's good, too. Um, and then Costco's open till 8.30 most days. I think Sundays, it close at 6. But most nights, oh, I'm going to put the car in eco mode. Because we did 51 miles to the gallon on the drive here. Because we were driving good. 
on eco mode. So I am living, I am loving the hybrid life. Like what took me so long to go get a hybrid, but it really does, especially when you're doing errands, you normally, that's when you burn more gas is if you're just running around town. But if you've got a hybrid, it's better, you know, like you're actually getting better mileage when it is actually around town, like city driving, normally freeway driving. So for a hybrid, it's backwards. If you're driving city, you get more mileage. If you're driving freeway, you get worse mileage. You know what I'm saying? So you're, you're, you're definitely. weird noises but anyway yeah we went to Disney Paris oh I'm so jealous someday my dream is to do all the Disney parks you know I definitely want to go to Japan Japan is the one but I want to do them all Shanghai Hong Kong um you know but I will do Asia someday. It'll be like, I want to do that Asian cruise, like, oh, Singapore, I think, like, Vietnam, like, all of those, you know, like, countries, like, doing the, the Asian, on the big, on, on the, the Disney ship, too, like, the adventure is only going to be in Singapore. That big old Oasis class ship, if you want to sail her, that giant Disney ship, we're going to have to go to Asia, y'all. <laughs> Singapore? Remember that movie, Crazy Rich Asians? That's why it's going there. Singapore is like like the Dubai of the East. That's how I look at it. Like Singapore is like Dubai, but in Asia. Food is amazing. You know, you got money to burn. I'll take your money there. <laughs> you know, but the food, I am there for the food. I cannot wait. Yeah, that would be the dream cruise is to do a whole Asia. I want to do Mediterranean as well. I want to do Greece. I want to do, you know, Mykonos, Santorini. I want to do Croatia. Uh, there's just so many beautiful ports of call that I want to do. I want to do all of those before I want to do. I know I want to do Alaska someday, but I want to finish the Mediterranean, the Caribbean, the rest of the Caribbean. Um, Mediterranean, of course, and then the Asia Pacific islands i mean why not hawaii too would be amazing oh but those are like the dream cruises you know longer cruises of course and you would have to fly there so they're definitely a little bit more pricey because you have to fly to those countries and then cruise on the ship to all those different ports but like i love watching all of the actually i watch a lot of crew vlogs like people who work for like royal caribbean you know and cruise ships and what a job like you definitely get to go to a different port like what an amazing opportunity you know like figure skaters dancers I watch a few of those like they're my favorite to watch just because they tell you like all the little tips and tricks like how much it is for you know one euro for the taxi or this because that's what the crew do you know like the little cafes they find the cute little places to eat and how much it goes from one place to the next, you know, like to, because they're at those ports, like every week they do turnaround days. So they see those ports multiple times. So they got really, really good tips and tricks for you. That's why I love watching, not so much cruise vloggers, but crew, like people who work on the cruise ships. I love that because they definitely have like the unique perspective, you know, but that's, that's my dream cruise is to do, I want to do Mediterranean, Greece, of course. But I would love to do the Pacific, the Asia. Oh, so good. And then I was, you know, I've been doing all the um, travel agent stuff for Virgin as well, because we're going on a Virgin cruise next year. So excited. We're doing Dominican Days. We're going to the Dominican Republic, y'all. Um, but I didn't know. I thought they only did four and five day cruises. But now that I'm learning on Virgin Voyages, getting my first mate, you know, I'm doing the whole college like I did the Royal Caribbean one you know which I killed in one weekend so I was doing the the only thing about the virgin ones are only slides so you have to read them all and there's no interactive like there's no music there's no talking I'm like oh my gosh this is like college all over again like I need Adderall to get through this <laughs> all out of coffee because it's kind of
boring. You're just reading. And I'm like, come on, Virgin. Even the back end of, you know, just in my opinion, as a, I'm a Disney travel agent. So I've done the Disney College of Knowledge. I've done, I have a Master's of Adventure from Royal Caribbean. I did all their classes. Just to compare apples to apples to apples, Virgin can do better with their training program without killing your brain cells. Like, it is pretty boring. It is not interactive like royal wow it's fun games like you really learn the different things because you have to learn things seven different ways for you to actually internalize the knowledge even the back end where you book the cruises it is like 2005 back there it is like not a good interface it is boring and it's difficult like it's not easy to use how about that and it looks cheap like it looks like it's 2005 technology back there like you could make it a little bit user friendly for your travel agents here so just booking my own cruise back there but you know just doing the backside and then i'm learning doing their education right now i'm like wakey 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 so i always take notes i always take notes you know so i have a new virgin voyages notebook that i'm using one of the ones that victoria gave me so i've been using that um i've been using a new notebook was um to for my royal for i finished i have a blue one for my royal caribbean and then i have a different one for virgin i'm gonna have one for norwegian i'm gonna have a different notebook for each cruise line because i always take notes for me that's a way for me to learn also a set second different way but like just reading slides like thousands of these i'm like oh brain numbing like you know the powerpoints that we had in college and high school lord where it was just a powerpoint that the instructor, the teacher would still talk, but at, at least e every other place like has more interactive, like there's videos, there's music, there's games, uh, try the map, like, you know, not just reading over and over. I mean, they're colorful slides, they're pretty, but I'm like, <laughs> like I have, cannot keep my attention for that long. Like I am just like squirreled so fast because it's, it's kind of boring. You're just reading. It's just like approaching a railroad crossing because you're just reading it straight. So that was my, that would be my point there. Uh, Sir Richard Branson, if you could spend a little bit more money on the back end of your cruise line, like website, like for travel agents, it's just add a little bit more in our interactivity. And then that booking site, Ooh, Lord, like it definitely needs a little bit of an update. Just saying, just saying, you know, <laughs> It is like boring, but yeah, we're going to be um, cruising Virgin Voyages because I've heard it's all 18 plus there. And the nice thing about Virgin is if let's say you're 18 or you're like your college age, 18, like you can book a room by yourself. Any other cruise line in the world, you have to have a 21 year old in your room. You can't book a cruise uh, if there's two 18 year olds in a room, you can't. But with Virgin, you can. So they're the only cruise line because it's adults only no kids so but if you're 18 you can book your own cruise line like your own your own cabin you don't have to have like a parent or older brother sister aunt, uncle like book the room with you like you don't have to be 21 you can be 18 and book the room on your own which is nice they're the only cruise line that does that so and with virgin everything is included as far as the drink package like alcohol not just juices, coffee, tea, all of that essential water, even bubbly water, flat water and sparkling water, all included coffee, tea, drip coffee, um, soda is included, um, internet is included. They have over 20 restaurants, all included. They don't have a buffet because you eat at a different restaurant every night. But I, every person I've talked to that has sailed Virgin was like, it's amazing, Jen, you got to do it. So we're doing it next year. So excited. Yes, it'll be my first time on Virgin. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that. It was, so from the front end, when you're paying for it, it seems like it's more expensive, but it's actually not because it includes all of that. Like when you're booking, let's say Royal or Carnival, that's just like your room and your gratuities and all of that but it doesn't include like your internet. It doesn't include your drink package if you do get one or Starbucks package in my case. Um, I gotta go book that actually. Um, for this cruise, we need to book Rob's drink package because it's gonna be with his brother. So he definitely needs the drinky drinky package and I just get the Starbucks package. Um, 
They also, Virgin also pays more on commission than Royal or Disney does. Actually, they pay the highest out of all the cruise lines. So that's pretty cool. Excited. Like, it looks amazing. The food I heard was phenomenal. Everybody I've talked to, whether it be a cruise logger or a guest even. I've had guests, like, you know, like at work and they've sailed Virgin. They love it. They love it. So I'm going to tell you guys, you know me, the, the, the truth, but nothing but the truth. Because I... This, every time we go on cruises, we use our own money. We're not sponsored or hosted or anything like that. So we always give you our brutally honest responses here because, you know, you're spending your hard-earned money on a cruise. I certainly want to tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and the traumatizing because we all work too hard for our money to spend money on something that may not be the experience you're looking for. So, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Oh, you're so sweet, SoCal. Well, you know where to find me. I'm always at the bar <laughs> working. I'm happy back to three days a week. Uh, I was working four or five, so I'm like two days a week. I couldn't leave the house because you know I was going to spend my money. I, no, I had to budget. I had to be very conscious. Even going to the park, I know you're like, it doesn't cost you money. You're an annual pass holder, Jen. You get free parking, but you know you're always going to spend money even if it's just a regular park day because you know we're going to go get Starbies. We're going to go get a nibble somewhere. You always spend money no matter what. Even though you don't want to spend money, you're going to spend money. So I was being good. Plus, you know, my friends don't want to go to Disney right now because of, you know, let's just say they're having a little Disney detox right now, you know. So, I am thankful that we still all have our jobs, um, but not everybody was safe when it came to those layoffs. So, I don't blame them because I would be pissed too, you know, but... It all works out in the end, and I'm very, very happy that all these Disney people, a lot of them are working for Universal because they are getting paid more, and they're getting better working conditions. So, hey, that's all you need in a job. You know, you want a job that doesn't feel like a job, so you love going to it every single day. That's how it works, you know, and good for them that's what you know we're a different you know we're in a difference it's just my opinion not the company's opinion again i always have to do the disclaimer this is just my opinion i don't speak for the company or disney or anything like that this is just my opinion <laughs> as jen um you know universal has a lot more going on in the next few years as in building a whole new theme park um than we do right now we're kind of in a restructuring cutting back trying to get our money back and you know budgeting there's we're going through it right now so there's a lot of uh tightening the belt per se is the way we would say it so i was actually very shocked that we felt it in the guest facing hourly level because normally that kind of stuff doesn't really affect us because we're the ones working working hard and we're guest facing so it doesn't really affect us we're not salary we're not management middle management you know those a lot of middle to the top executive those are that's when we get rid of a lot of those people you know and any any job you any company goes through that you know what I mean like they just have it goes they go through it where you're you have you're too middle heavy you have too many people that are what are they doing you know epic universe is going to be epic I can't wait um yeah so I'm very happy but it all worked out and you know they're getting paid more money and that's all about you know what you got to be I mean it's very competitive you know I worked for Universal before I worked for Disney too so if I knew that we were all gonna get silently or, or cut back on our ships because July August September October is slow season anyway, but we haven't felt that because we've had COVID where people were coming still from all over the country or as lockdowns open up. So we have been busy for the last three years. This is the first fall, summer, that, it's slow, it's hot. Nobody wants to be here at 115, no. So this is the first year that we truly felt that. And if I knew that that was gonna happen and they were gonna cut back the shifts, I would have had a, 
second job lined up already, you know, but you better be prepared. Like next year, she's going to be ready. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I've got a gig for the July, August, September, like, you know, the summer, early fall, because it's truly our slow season. And right now, the way things are, I'm sure that's going to be happening again next year. Like we're still rebuilding, you know, cutting back, trying to recoup our money. So it's going to be like, and every company goes through that every five to 10 years, there's that type of um, restructuring and that's any company. So, you know, just got to hang tough, which is hard. Oh, there it is. Found the Costco receipt. Um, you know, just got to hang tough and go with the flow and, you know, made it through, whew, through the wilderness, but we made it through. So we're, we're going to be okay. Now we're going to go into busy season and we're going to be busy again. So hopefully it keeps on keeping on here. You know, we got cruises to pay for, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, thank you for shopping with me. I mean, this light is horrible, but I'm going to go do my groceries, put it all away, do a load of laundry, and then I got to be at work tomorrow. So thanks for late night shopping, West Coast. You guys always come through for me. So we're doing our Halloween party October 13th. That stream is already up. Make sure you click that reminder so it comes on. We're going to stream that whole day. Um, next week, we'll probably do some Disney and then Horror Nights, of course. Um, probably I'm going to bring clothes on Thursday night if it doesn't rain. I was going to go this last Wednesday, but it rained. So I like to go late during Horror Nights. It just turns out better. So we'll do more streams. Um, yeah, so it'll be fun. Can't wait. We had to retire. Yeah, it's, it's happening to everybody even here that, um... It's called quiet layoffs where they give you no shifts. They're not firing you, but they're trying to like, if you can't live off of one shift or two shifts, hey, East Coast, yes, that's basically what it is. Like they're trying to start you out. So note to self, they're hiring, they already kind of hired everybody for the holidays early while we were so slow. So if you are a, you know, theme park worker, you almost always have to have two jobs because I did that for years. I always had two Disney jobs or Universal and Disney job because you need to, you know, to supplement if you're only getting one or two shifts. And, and I am not, you know, I'm not new to the company. It's not like I don't have seniority or anything. It is just that kind of, you know, transitionary period at the moment. But we'll be OK. We're going to we always come out ahead. You know, we're going to be OK. So. We just got to make it through and, you know, I'm blessed and I'm thankful for everything. That's why every cast member you have out there, you know, give them love. Don't give them a hard time. Just show them that you appreciate them, even with words or thank yous or pleases, because they're not getting enough shifts, you know, like it's hard, especially, you know, the hourlies are they're trying to live here in Florida and, you know, you can't even get enough hours to make your hours. So it's kind of tough for everybody right now. So just, you know, like everybody's scrambling for shifts. We've never had that. Like normally you got people giving away and sometimes you even have a hard time giving away shifts, but like everybody's like on all of our Facebook pages for different, um, untrained, everybody's like looking for shifts, looking for shifts. So most everybody who works for theme parks are part-time. There's only very few full-timers there's only like two where I work so most everybody most everybody that works at the theme park is part-time so if you want to make money you have to work your hours so if you're not getting hours you gotta find shifts everywhere it's a struggle right now so that's why you know I always just try to a lot of them kind of my bar on their day off I'm like you deserve it <laughs> you know working hard working hard it's a struggle um I want to work one of those um Mickey's not so scary shifts. So I was like, I'd give away candy. I'll do wristbands, whatever, you know, um, just to wear the outfit because I wanted to do that. I know Nick work has a couple of those, but I find one. But I would, I want to do one someday just for fun. But anyway, yes, you cast compliments. Just be nice to them. They're just going through. I think everybody's going through it right now with the, with the shifts and it's 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 tough out there right now because they hired, like I said, they hired way too many people and then cut back shifts. I'm like couldn't wait till November to hire more people, but it is what it is, what it is. So, and I hope everybody out there who doesn't have a job will find one. 
shortly. Apply everywhere. Apply early. Keep your feelers out. Never burn any bridges because you never know who's going to end up getting you a job. It's going to all come back full circle. But I love you guys. I'm going to go get my life together. Go say hi to Rob and the puppy and then get ready for work tomorrow. I hope the rest of your work week goes well. Um, yeah, no, it might, might happen about, I say a month now. So however long it's been, I've had two shifts, about a month, about a month. So, you know, it, it's even affecting us with the tip positions and higher seniority people. I can only imagine the people that have no seniority. So, you know, but love you guys. Thanks for hanging out. This was so much fun. I love a shop with me. We got to do it again. Um, <laughs> you know, and that'll be fun. We have a cruise coming in three weeks. I'm probably going to try to get that live stream going. Um, get those thumbnails going. They're all there. The, the, the Mickey's Not So Scary is there. I'm going to go set up the second Mickey's Not So Scary. We're going to the first um, Christmas party. And then we're going to one in November, one in December. And then we're probably going to do the last Jollywood night. So we got a lot of these special events coming up as well. Plus two more cruises, y'all. It's going to be fun. So, all right. Love you guys. Thank you again for hanging out. Have a great night, okay? Bye, y'all.